Welcome, welcome, welcome to Sim Caesar Substitute. Proudly presents Peter Mooney presenting a Sim Caesar ish Sunday fly along. Yes, that's right. Three big fly alongs in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Everyone is welcome to join in the third annual Peter Mooney Sim Caesar ish Sunday fly along. Yes, indeed. Welcome. Happy to see everybody here. We're going to do three uh, three wonderfully exciting fly-alongs today. Uh, we're going to, first, we're going to be looking at some beautiful rural countryside. Then we're going to uh, do a major urban area city flyover. Uh, and then we're going to end up in the volcanic mountains of El Salvador. It's going to be uh, three, three very different uh, topographies, uh, lots of beautiful scenery. And, uh, gosh, I guess, uh, uh, we probably ought to go ahead and, uh, uh, get, uh, get right along into it. Let's see. Here we go. Um, oh, and I guess I also, I failed to say, welcome to the Can You Hear Me Now channel. <laughs> it looks to me, uh, everything on this end looks like you absolutely can. So, uh, if you can't, somebody let me know right away. Uh, but I think we'll get uh, we'll get started by just uh, saying hello to folks who are here. Whoa, 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 whoa. actually, whoa! Before we do that, let's uh, get to uh, some 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 things seem to be happening here before the uh, seem to have happened before uh, the stream started. So let's uh, let's get to um, let's see where is the others? If that would be that, uh, and then uh, I think if I go over here, uh, I should. Uh, uh, we, we, we should maybe, uh, if the uh, technology agrees, we might find out that, um, hello, I don't, be, uh, I don't know, let's see. Yeah, no, you know, it seems like no matter how many times I click on things, sometimes they just don't, uh, yeah, I'll try this one more time. Uh, well, we'll see if we can do it manually. We'll, we'll end up with two if I do it manually. But, um, is that, is there not a, uh, no? Huh. Very, very strange. Um, bear, bear with me. Ah, oh, there we go. Monster. <laughs> Thank you so much, Monster, uh, for the hundred bits. Uh, uh, monster signature before the string. No, wait, no, I'm confused. That that would be somebody else. And then, uh, Sim Mr. Egan. Um, let's see. It's you know, it's gonna make me manually, I guess. There we go. Woohoo! Uh, Sim Mr. Egan, uh, giving a gift sub, uh, to the community. Uh, and that is, uh, uh, should be right here on my screen where I could see it, but. It's on that little tiny one where I can. Two dogs, uh, two dogs, seven, five, seven. Thank you so much, so much, so very, very much to Mr. Egan uh, for the uh, gift sub to the community. Appreciate that a very, very great deal. <gasps> oh, and ladies and gentlemen and all gentle beings, here comes Spundot with a hundred bit cheer. <laughs> Thank you, Spundot, and happy to see you. That's absolutely fabulous. And. Uh, Oh, there's what I was looking for before and I couldn't see it. Okay, right, there we go. So now let's start by saying hi to uh, everybody who's here. And that would begin with, as is so often the case, my favorite person to see in the stream. It's Soundtrack78. Well, oh, well, Soundtrack, we'll circle back because Cold Nebo is cheering. Oh, wait a minute, real Tyro, 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 Tyro is cheering 100 bits. That says what? Frank or Frank or some thousand Sunday, uh, Sunday Funday Peter Mooney fly. Oh, Tyro, thank you, thank you so so very much. And Cold Nebo, top to top form, thank you so much for the bits. And but and and lest I forget, and I, I'm sure I would if I don't say it now. Uh, big big thanks to both Cold Nebo and Ascended Gravity for helping me uh, check some uh, some uh, audio levels before the stream started because it's well we'll 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 talk about that later. Uh, but with with less further ado, <laughs> let's say hi to folks. Soundtrack seventy eight. So so very happy to see you. Hey. 
and Cold Nebo. <laughs> Welcome on in. Again, thanks for your help earlier, and always happy to see you. Tyro, 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 Tyro. Hi, and thanks for being here. Captain Gaz, always a pleasure to see you, and the lovely Spunda. Monster, welcome on in. Delighted to see you, my friend. And oh my goodness, it's the aforementioned Ascended Gravity! And it's Kev! Hi! Welcome on in! Great seeing you! And have I skipped over or missed anybody? Oh, Sim Mr. Egan is here! Uh, definitely a delight to see you as well. And oh my goodness, one of my very favorite things in all the world, it's barbecue beef. T. Miller, good to see you, and welcome on in. And oh my goodness, if it isn't Sunjammer. And AA Insanity is here. Good to see you. Thanks for coming by. Hope, uh, trust, uh, hope and trust you'll be flying along as well. And oh, heavens, it's uh, looky there. If it isn't, plan a neutral. And oh my goodness, we also have Mwet. I could be wrong, it feels like the list just gets longer and longer. No, oh my gosh, I think I think I'm caught up. In fact, yes. That's uh, if I have missed if I have missed saying hello, by all means please let me know, because I, I I hate to miss that sort of thing. Uh, but uh, let's see, that means I can turn turn the greeting function over to the greeter bot. All right, thank you, and we'll get that turned on. Oh. And speaking of the greeter bot welcoming people, Scotty too, hotty. Thank you so much for being here. Delighted to see you. Feeling awful that I missed uh, at least two of your streams in the, over the last week, but and probably more. But I just I've mostly mostly ended up take. I realized that this week was going to be probably the only week in the next year that I could get a vacation from Twitch, and I mostly took it. Uh, I had a bunch of other stuff to uh, you know, you know stuff. Um, Makers Dave, hello, welcome in. Happy to see you here as well. And uh, let's see, good, there's, okay, oh yeah, Sim Mr. Egan, thank you for the Discord link there, that's, uh, that's good. Um, we may, let's see, oh, and uh, we, uh, let's see, is there anything else I want to, oh, I think I should, uh, I, I have failed so far to mention or to ask. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> type exclamation point giveaway to get yourself entered 
into the giveaway for a free subscription to the Peter Mooney channel, or if you win the drawing and you're already subscribed here, I will happily give you uh, a subscription to any channel on Twitch, as long as you pick a channel that offers subscriptions. Uh, so definitely want to do that. And uh, for those, uh, so, uh, assuming there are probably folks here who haven't been to the Peter Mooney channel before, but are regulars in the uh, Sim Caesar Sunday fly along, I should point out that I have a very simple bot uh, that, not, uh, unlike Sim Caesar's fancy homemade bot that allows him to do multiple rounds to the giveaway, my very simple basic bot. There's only one round, and it's uh, that round lasts for the entire stream. So you, you you can type exclamation point ticket as many times as you like. I think the bot will just tell you that you've you've already uh, you know you already have a ticket, or maybe it just won't respond. I don't remember what it does, but definitely type exclamation point ticket to get yourself entered. Uh, do that at least once, and once you've done it, then you can forget about it, and you don't have to worry for the rest of the stream because there's only ticket as many times as I want. Did that work? Let's see. Tyro, did it did it respond at all? No, it's a, yeah, it says failed to enter giveaway. Too many tickets. Too many. Too, too many. Uh, <laughs> right. So, uh, radio. I think that means that we're probably about ready to um, move into the fly along portion of the program, which I'm sure is what uh everybody is uh, is here for hey sfc sapper and gun guy welcome in happy to see you um so uh as on the uh sim caesar sunday fly alongs uh we have a voice discord in fact it's the same voice discord you don't have to go find my my voice discord uh today we we'll, we'll be using uh sim caesar was gracious enough to allow us uh to use his dis his voice discord um so uh, I'm gonna gonna head over there in just a moment. Uh, anyone anyone is welcome to join the voice Discord, whether you're flying along or not. But we do ask that you uh, bear a few simple things in mind uh, uh, when when you're when in the voice Discord. Uh, we kind of try to keep the conversation topical to the flight at hand. That never works. Uh, it always strays. But uh, you know, generally just try and be you know aware of that. Uh, aspect of things. And then um, uh, let's see what else about that. Uh, also, uh, you know, there may be times. To, uh, so, you know, some people are shy and come in the voice discord and then don't say anything for the whole three flights. And, you know, then the other people are talkative and just try not to talk over one another, you know, leave a moment. It's it's like not stepping on other people on the radios when you're when you're in the airplane. Right. Uh, there's that. And then um, I guess the last thing about that is that there may be times where I may need to just kind of break into the conversation if there's like some stream business to take care of. Uh, so I think with that, I'm going to cross, everybody cross your fingers. I think I'm now going to join the, the voice discord. And I think uh, that that's uh, it's going to going to work. But I guess we won't really know till I get there. There may be we you I, there may be an echo on me. I don't think so. I think I worked that out, but. We're just we're going to give it a try and then we'll adjust if we need to. So um, with that, let me say uh, hello, people of voice discord. Yo, 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 yo. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, oh, my, oh, my goodness. Oh, uh, heavens, heavens to Betsy. Uh, <laughs> I am. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's uh that's really something um i so so uh, uh every every sunday on the sim caesar fly along when i'm in the voice discord i set it to push to talk mode but that's clearly not going to work for today so I've, i'm using voice activity um and uh i if if we could have if we could have a moment of silence i just want to make sure that the voice activity does cut out when uh, when i stop talking Uh, the bad the bad news, however, is that my uh, my as I as I feared my the mute button that I use like to cough and that sort of thing, um, uh, only only mutes me on the stream but not in the Discord. So I'll I'll do my best, but uh, hey. we'll live. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wonder if I can. Oh, you know, let's let me. I I, I hate to I hate to 
delay the uh, the uh, the start of the fly along, but I would like let me let me check one thing to do. Oh uh, yeah, no, that's not gonna work. I was hoping maybe I could just double up the uh, the button uh, to have it do both, but that's that's not gonna. Okay, never mind. Uh, all right, well, so. Hey, double you for life. Welcome on in. Happy to have you here. Um, all right. So that seems to be the voice discord thing working. The stream seems to be the sims. Seems to be, I think, I think we can go ahead and get, uh, get ourselves uh, set up and going, uh, for the first of our three flights today. Um, I took the week off, not only from Twitch, but also from flight planning. Uh, so I have not planned any of the three routes today. Uh, the routes have been planned by so Mr. Egan. I think your voice activity may be picking up something a little bit. You maybe turn the sensitivity down a little bit. We're getting some sort of, uh, I don't know what that is, but, uh, so Ascended Gravity, uh, has planned our first route for today. And then Monster uh, has planned our second route for today. And then Sim Mr. Egan has planned our third route for today. Uh, so we are going to start out with Ascended Gravity. Ascended Gravity, uh, before uh, before I start uh, loading into the, the, the Sim for the flight, anything we need to know, like what kind of plane to take, or is there any, any preliminary information? Um, well, this is a low and... Cessna, seat, Cessna speed flight. Um, you can cruise at like a thousand feet. It's quite flat around here. So, <laughs> all righty. And um, should I load in before we do any um, media? Um, we we can do. Uh, yeah, you might as well just load okay. in first. Okay. All righty. So uh, I know most, if not everybody here, is a, a Microsoft Flight Simulator expert and doesn't need any walking through uh, setting up the flight, but we welcome everybody to fly along. Hi, Lucy is here. Hey, welcome on in. Happy to see you. Lucy, so sorry that you're welcome, Sam. Did not it had static and did didn't seem to go very well. And, um <laughs> I did call you experts. Uh yeah, yeah, I, I don't know what to think about that. Like I said, it was gone for months and it has just suddenly reared its ugly head again. Um, but uh yeah, so I have to try and track that down, but not uh not today, I'm a, I'm I'm afraid. Uh, let me, oh, there's one other thing I forgot to turn on there. Oh, and I might as well turn that on. Okay, that's everything. So, um, I think what I was uh, starting to say was uh, most everybody here doesn't need me to walk through setting up a flight in Microsoft Flight Simulator, but we do welcome uh, any and everybody to fly along. And uh, you don't, you know, for those for those who may be joining for the first time and not all that familiar, I'm just gonna gonna walk through it on the screen here. So, um, oopsie, <laughs> we don't want to zoom that. We want to scroll this. There we go. So, um, Ascended Gravity has provided us with uh, the route that is in the it's in the chat there. If you type exclamation point route, and our departure is two Papa two. Hello, there we go, two, Papa, two. Hey, look, it worked. That's Washington Island, so that's gonna be our departure. And it's, uh, it's, it's set us all up on, uh, on uh, either, uh, looks like either uh, three, two, or one, four. We're going uh, that away, <laughs> which is how I generally, so for Sunday fly-alongs, it's all a bunch of fun. I don't worry about, weather it doesn't matter what runway you take off from what runway you land on but uh i generally tend to make it easy on myself by 
using whatever runway is going in the there's that old saying it's uh best to ride the horse in the direction it's going uh and that's so that's my approach to selecting a runway for sunday fly alongs but at any rate uh 2p2 our arrival is in green bay which is k g r b g r b uh green bay strobel strobel strobe strauble I'm, I'm trying to maintain certain traditions here uh, on the Sim Caesar-ish Sunday fly along. Green Bay, Austin, Strayable International Green Bay. So one of those was correct. One of, one of those was okay. I got the the <laughs> the Austin part. Uh, I suspect. Okay. All righty. So that looks good uh, for the uh, 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 departure and arrival. And if that's all you uh, you enter, you that's that's all you need to enter. Uh, you can just follow the group and fly along. But Ascended Gravity has also uh, provided us with some waypoints. Um, and a lot of them, I've seemed to recall from looking at this, were easy to find. Like, here's 8WN8. Um, I love the, the regional, the, like the smaller airport naming, uh, uh, you know, um, um, codes. The codes for, like, smaller airports. I, 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 I just, I'm endlessly fascinated. Like, so if it's in Wisconsin, it's pretty common for it to have a WN in it, but like this one is a number, WN and a number, but then I think we'll see some others that are, oh, well, they're right there in front of me. Like, but yeah, so WN28 is coming up a little bit later, but then we get also, we get 88WI. And so I don't know. I just, there, there's, 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 there's no, you you would you would suspect a pattern, and in pretty much every case you would be wrong. So uh, let's see. So three D two just south of there is coming up next. Um, let's add that, and then um, I seem to remember it being a little trickier finding the next one. WN twenty eight uh, was not like the, oh no it is so it's this very next one right on down here. Uh, so. Uh, and if if I zoom out, you'll see that it's be, the, or the route is beginning to take a particular shape here. Um, oh, I see. Oh, 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 ladies, gentlemen, and all gentle beings, that's not good. Um, the only uh, thing I can even begin to uh, uh, think of to put a positive spin on that crash to desktop is the fact that we hadn't started flying yet. <laughs> and uh, let's see, oh, I had something else uh, planned. Oh, it was, I guess, the fact that with the, no, it wasn't that either. I really, oh, yes, the the other thing, uh, the other uh, positive spin on having the crash to desktop now is that Twitch is telling me that in just over a minute and a half, there's an ad coming up. So <laughs> you won't have to watch only my uh, sim restarting. You can also uh, watch an ad in a few moments. Hey, Rob MCR, welcome on in. Welcome to the Sunday fly, the Sim Caesar-ish Sunday fly along uh, here on the Peter Mooney channel. Uh, as you can see, I'm just restarting the Sim because I don't know. After the last, uh, after the last uh, Sim update, I started getting a lot of uh, uh, you know. CTDs. And then, yeah, I've been having the same issue, Peter. Um, it, it crashes every single time I start it, and then after that crash, it's fine after that. It's weird. Huh. Well, I are you using Sky Dolly Monster? No, I'm not. It's just weird. It's just that it just started after this last update, too. Yeah, and, and I didn't load Sky Dolly today because I'm not planning any uh, any replays. Um, but what so we, like in my, in my case, I uh, the thing I did that I thought had fixed it was I, I so people were saying try updating the the Nvidia drivers uh, and I was you know reluctant <laughs> but I did it uh, and that didn't have any effect so then I I thought you know I've been tweaking the Nvidia drivers settings incessantly not incessantly but you know every month or two somebody would say oh well tweak this in your Nvidia driver and I would try that so I thought let's just get a clean start. And uh, so I, I did, I reinstalled the, um, the NVIDIA driver with that setting that's in there that uh, for a clean install. So in other words, it wipes out all your existing profiles and does it. And so that was like 10 days ago or so. And I did, did not have another CTD 
for like nine days. And then like yesterday I had one and now like today I've had one. So uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hopefully it's very Las Vegas ish. You got to roll the dice. Oh dear. <laughs> yep. Well, hopefully it will, uh, hopefully uh, it will follow the pattern monster has been experiencing. And uh, that one will get us through the rest of the day. Um, well, I just had four in the last five minutes trying to restart the sim over and over and over again. So I'm going to restart my PC and I'll be back. Oh, goody. Okay. <laughs> well, so maybe uh, we have that to look forward to as well. But uh, I hope it's not a server issue then. Oh, wouldn't that be uh, lovely? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, my gosh. Old Nebo, thank you so much for the gift sub. That's awesome. I appreciate it. Um, Distracting the CTDs. Right. <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank you for the distraction. And I think we are going to not go to Gordon Municipal, wherever that is, because that's that's too long a flight. Let's tell you the, oh, that wow. B is right next to the N, isn't it? There we go. Mm -hmm. That's looking better. Um, oh, and you know, and now it's, I wonder if it, oh, Oh ho ho! I had forgotten. Wait, no! I know. <laughs> oh my goodness! No. I I had forgotten, but this this just reminded me that the, after after that sim update when I started having them all the time, it was on the world map is is where I was getting them. Uh, like as soon as I tried to you know like scroll or zoom. You know, move, uh, move around or zoom on the map. That's when they were happening. Oh so, yeah, be careful of that. That's that's killed me sometimes. Yeah. So uh, we're just we're gonna try this one more time. And Sim, Mister Egan, thank you so much for the bits. Ah, all righty. So stiff upper lip. <laughs> um, <laughs> keep calm and carry on. Where's Quas? I need I need I need Quas. Where's Quas? I, I need a Quas command in my in my channel. <laughs> hey, Wraithcat is here. Welcome on in, Wraithcat. Happy to see you. Um, huh? So there was. Uh, that's interesting. The uh, there's no reason that. The stem uh, restarting would have uh, interrupted with the greeter bot, but I didn't hear Wraithcat's welcome sound. Did did y'all? Let's, no. let's try it manually. Wraith and Cat. Happy to see both of you, and welcome in. Just keep the start airport and follow the group. Might be a might be a way to go. Uh, what do you what do you think about that suggestion, uh, Ascended Gravity? Uh, or you could add it to your GPS after the fact once you load in. Uh, I could do that if I change it to the uh, the TDS. That's true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not gonna learn how to use that. 300, 400, 500, whatever it is, uh, during a fly along stream. So uh, we'll see. It. Wraith Cat, no, that's fine. We we may be having, uh, yeah, Spun Dot. I could I could do I could do that as well. I'm I'm hesitant, if only because I got you know a bunch of windows open to run the run the stream here. But um, the simulating the regular Sunday delay. That's hilarious. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no different than Sam. Huh? Well, well played, Tyro. Well played indeed. Let's see if I can get over to. Hey, if we get off before the hour, hey, we're going good. Yes, indeedy. Let's. I don't know why that's okay. Good. Um, I don't know. I I kind of feel like I want to try one more time for. Uh... Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. What was what was that you said? I, I missed what was that monster or ascended gravity? Oh, I was just saying that hey, if we get off before the hour, we're doing good. 
Okay. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I'm sorry. I just, I couldn't resist. Uh, <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Fell into it, right? Yeah, walked right into that. Um, I, so let's try, let's try at least... I'll, I'll, I won't mess with the uh, the runway this time. We'll just do that and do this. And it's GRB for Green Bay, right? Green Bay. Okay. Um, I might try. Maybe I'll maybe I'll try just typing them in. Uh, typing them in the search box and see what we get that way. Uh, Get that route back up on the screen here. Uh, That's what I did the first time when it crashed. Oh, really? Well, huh. <laughs> um, the restarts aren't taking all that terribly long, are they? Do I have a... Uh, no. Oh, hey, monster. Okay, we'll do that. See if that crashes anything. Uh, I just, I don't even know. Uh... I'm gonna so you were that was made you do. Uh yeah, I'll just I'll switch over to the TDS and put them in there once we're in. So I'm just so um I hate not walking everybody through with the uh -huh, but uh you know I just I think in the uh I think I think it might be <laughs> I'm clicking the fly button now. Okay, just make sure your head tracker is on and that you turn your head rapidly from side to side. Mm, yeah. <laughs> okay. So we'll see how how long this takes to uh, takes to load in here. Um, let's see. Oh, not oh, not long at all. And oh my goodness, it's dark. Oh, and I have been. Uh -huh. <laughs> Why is it midnight? Well, I I don't know my 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 sim has always has often done that like, like whatever time and day I have set yeah. uh, on the Mine on the world map. Because it's October and it's very spooky out. Oh, hoo -hoo, I see. Oh, okay. So there's that. Um, let's see if we can maybe back away from folks enough to not have uh, people inside me. Uh, get rid of that. Bring this up. Let's go here and here. Oh, hello. There we go. Alrighty. Uh, that should be all we need there. Then we can go over here and. Alrighty. Is Taz guy gonna talk to me? Taz, system test, okay. Ooh, there he is. Oh, ho, ho, hey, Cold Nebo. Thank you for the... Wait a minute. How did I miss... So I not only missed Wraith Cat's... Spooky chair. Thank you. I not only missed Wraith Cat's welcome sound, but also Wraith Cat cheering 200 bits. I don't know how on earth I didn't hear that or overlooked it. Wraith Cat, thank you so, so very much for the 200 bits. That's awesome. Every day, all the time. Thank you. So Hi. Um, okay. So where are we going? We're going eight W N eight eight W N low eight. No, we're not. I seem to recall, though it's pretty much a straight line from there to uh, three delta two. Delta two. Hey, excellent. All right, we should be fine there. Uh, WN twenty eight. Twenty eight. Nope. <laughs> Gotta love the Garmin Trainer database. Don't. Uh, I know KSUE is going to be in there because it's a larger regional airport. It's got, uh, it's got, uh, runway lighting. <laughs> it's WN, you put M. Did I? Yes, you did. Oh. Well, uh, let's see. Where's, there's an insert before. Oh, I gotta highlight this, and then I can insert before. And it was 
before K hit W and O. W and and then it's uh, two eight two eight. Is that right? W N two eight. Yep, I think it's just not in the TDS database. Oh wow. Yeah. No uh no big surprise there. Uh, so let's see. <laughs> we'll cancel the insert before. We'll go back to back after S U E eight eight W I. Not there either. Okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> just going swimmingly, isn't it? This is you know this is gonna make uh, Tim Caesar feel great, you know, and so desperate, <laughs> desperately needed when he's back next week. Uh. Did you get a ticket for the giveaway? It's a lot of fun if you win! <laughs> you know. Um, okay. Um, shall I, shall I put in the GPS waypoint? It's just uh, uh, over town, right? I think I'm just gonna fly, fly, follow Ascended Gravity. Let me get this out of the way here. Uh, so then we just need to put in our arrival, KGRB. Um, K, G, R, B, alrighty, enter, oh, that, that, that won't do, uh, <laughs> just when you thought it was safe to go back to the keyboard, there we go, Green Bay, Austin, okay, here, and then that, uh, that ought to do it. Uh, let's see. So I usually cheat and put the moving map up on uh, on my side monitor, but I, that seems to add some stress to uh, to the sim. Uh, so I'll just uh, since it's since it doesn't have the waypoints in it anyway, I'm not gonna bother with that. Uh, so I think then if everybody is loaded in and ready, I think. Uh, it's, uh, oh, Tyro. <laughs> now, we're gonna, as provided I can, assu assuming that I can see monster, <laughs> I mean, uh, ascended gravity, uh, I'm just gonna follow along. Uh, and you think we should be worried about a sea monster. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no, I'm sure it's fine. There was a stream last week where I couldn't tell if someone was saying, that we were going to move in the direction of the ocean. Uh, I couldn't tell if they were saying seaward or the seaward, <laughs> but in either case, oh. um, let me grab a quick screenshot here. Whoops, that will not do, because that's cutting some people out. But uh, just a uh, quick screenshot for the old family album. Uh, we can see, we can see most everybody there. Uh, oh, we got a what a great group we got flying along today. Captain Gaz, Sunjammer, uh, Mwet, somebody hiding behind Mwet, Gung Ho guy, Scotty, it's Kev, Monster Ascended, Gold Nebo, Wraith Cat, Tyra Goth, uh, Spundot, and there's Lucy over there. And then who is this hiding uh, behind Tyra? Gung Ho guy. Wait, Mwet? I thought Mwet was. Oh, it's Barbecue Beef. And then... Okay. Why did I think I saw... Oh, T. Miller! Yeah, that's who's I... All right. Um, Ascended Gravity, I think. We're ready to go. What do you think? I'm ready. Um, first image. Oh, what? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> there we go. All right. So, today's flight will take us from Washington Island at the tip, almost tip of Door County, which is the A Peninsula along the northeastern part of the state of Wisconsin. Um, we are going to travel down said peninsula, and we will be landing at Green Bay, which some of you know and are football fans, is home of the Green Bay Packers. Um, next image. Alrighty. And that is just an image of the field from grass level. This is entirely um, grass strips. 
And next image. And this island itself, Washington Island, is only accessible via air or car ferries. Um, there is, uh, we won't go past it, but there is also another island to the northeast of here called Rock Island, and that is only accessible via, via ferries, and no sort of motor vehicle is allowed on that island, and it's actually a very nice uh, camping spot. It's part of Rock Island State Park. But, without further ado, now we can take Okay. Oops. Let's see. Oh, thank thank you for that. Oh, that intro. was going that was to uh, very cool. Maybe I uh, there we go. Uh, then I uh, aha, here we go. All righty then. Well, uh, in that case, um, I want you to I want you to all be very careful. We're taking off from the tip of the island. We all know that's the most sensitive oh, part. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> please, please. Ah. Peter did forget the most important thing what Sim Caesar would have said. Well, if they're the green Green Bay Packers, where's the Green Bay Unpackers? Uh, 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 thank you, Sunjammer. <laughs> <laughs> um, ascended Gravity, <laughs> without too much further ado, <laughs> how about starting us off? All right. On your mark, get set, go. Ooh, I seem to be moving. I'll be departing on the crosswind, so watch out, you guys. Here I come. Oh, I forgot to turn off my uh, my wind. Okay, airspeed's alive. That's good. There's 60. Uh, 70. I should be able to maybe lift off a little. Yes, enough to get the gear up. Cut out some drag. Oh, I think we're going to clear the trees. What excellent news. And everybody seems to be going this way, so I guess I will join in. And let's get the flaps up. And then... Okay. Woohoo! Sorry, I just joined. Uh, where are we flying to today? Oh, hi! Um, Hello. Yeah, the route... Uh, hi, uh, uh, Mun it's, is it Munchy Crunch? Is that right? Uh... Just go munchy. Just, just munchy. Just munchy. Okay. Yeah. yeah There's the the root is right there in the chat. Yep. So we just we're just taken off from. Uh, we're in Door County, Washington. Wisconsin. Yeah, Washington Airport, two Papa two. And uh, in the sorry, in the voice chat, open chat, or the Marcus MMC voice. Oh wait, no. In uh, in in the Twitch chat. Uh, oh, in the Twitch chat. Yeah, that's that is where the where, where we post the routes. But uh, two Papa two is the airport we just took off from, okay. and going to Green Bay. So as we climb, go ahead. If you want to throw up the next image, sure. Uh, you know what? So, Actually, hang on. Let me get let me get the autopilot on, and make sure I'm. Uh, at least reasonably on course and not going to die while I... Oh my gosh, we got a new... Oh, we got Munchie following. Thank you, thank you for the follow. -up. And then... Oh wait, that's not going to work. I got to go over here and then uh, here. There we go. All righty. All right. So this next image... Well, I'll, I'll preface this by saying there isn't a lot of POIs in the state of Wisconsin. So I picked out a few things around here that I thought could be a POI. And this first one is called the Washington Island Stave Church. It, is, it was constructed in 1983 and it was actually modeled after a Norwegian state church. And it was completed in 1995 and it still has Lutheran based services during the summer. It's a beautiful building. It is, absolutely. Yep, it's all wood, and I believe, I think the next image is the interior. Yep, hang on. Yep, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's not large by any means. It's tall, but not very large. Huh. Um, that's what 
Oh, 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 oh boy. And, yeah, and then uh, as we go over this little straight right here, next to Hinge, is a Did you... real life view of what we're probably seeing right now in the sim. Door. It was a um, way back in the early ship traversing days. There was a lot of shipwrecks that happened in this strait here due to the way the winds work off the Bay of Green Bay in Michigan. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that was just a real life shot from the same direction. Very cool. Vega Blue Sky, welcome on in. Happy to see you. Um, alrighty then. Let's, uh, it is lovely, uh, up here. Got, so, Peter, yeah. how was your week? <laughs> 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 Thank you for filling in for Quas. Um, so, so far, oh, and look at everybody back there and me out here, and that's because, I don't know why, I am ripping along at 180 knots let me just uh see if we can't uh slow this down a little bit here uh sorry everybody firewall movie. i know i know <laughs> oh brother uh okay uh should have flown along into it today instead then i would have been able to keep up with them uh, <laughs> Send it set at a slow, leisurely 172 type yeah, flight. Yeah, and I decided I decided <laughs> before anybody said anything, I'm gonna drop the gear just to keep myself <laughs> slow here. I decided long before this that um, uh, with the 37 new things going on during the stream that don't use, it's all it's typically all I can do to manage all the stuff going on during my regular stream. And with all the other extra stuff going on during a Sunday fly-along stream, I was just going to fly the airplane that fits like uh, like an old, comfortable pair of slippers, not some plane that I haven't flown for <laughs> two months and can't remember where anything is. And no I worries, I got you. Yeah, okay. It's cool, Peter. This as long as you're you know handling 15 balls in the air while you're juggling there. I'm just going to throw you an African lion. <clears throat> Here you go. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Yes, indeed. <laughs> but uh, um, I'm surprised you're not flying that overpowered A5 or whatever the hell it's, or whatever it is. No, no, I, it's, I, I, <laughs> although that one, that one is is pretty easy to fly, just because it's just so basic in terms of what's on the panel and that sort of thing. Uh, let's see. We were taking. Oh, I I meant to uh, come out here and kind of take a look around at some of these cute little villages along the shore. I've got live weather and time, and I'm flying right into a blue sky with bright sun. It's crazy. Huh. Should I... Doesn't look like... Should I... It doesn't look like East Coast. It doesn't look like the East Coast? Is that what you're saying? Well, I mean, yeah, just because the weather is so clear, it almost looks like California or something. Okay. See, I would have thought that it didn't look like East Coast because it's not on the East Coast. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're up in the Great Lakes. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I just, you know, I don't know, but... Uh, uh, I'm from Arizona, so everything's the East Coast to us. Ah. Uh, yeah, I was going to say it's thing, same thing. I'm all the way at the far end of the West, so... <laughs> it's pretty far East from me. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Those East Coast or Texans... I actually expect Minnesota or this zone to be overcast, cloudy all the time. It's a blue sky day. Oh, am I a little? Very much so. Okay, looks like I'm a little closer to the middle of the group. Uh, sorry for anybody I was trying to leave behind earlier. Ooh, so Rob in the in the uh, Skymaster. That's cool. There's a gun who guy in a bonanza. Who else? Anybody else in range that their plane is actually appearing? Like Cold Nebo? No. A little far away. Uh, 
anybody out in front that I can see? Yeah, Captain Gaz. And if it ends up, ooh, Sunjammer in a TBM, does it, it looks like we got model matching there, that's cool. Yay. So I'm, I'm still loving this 3M multiplayer model matching add-on that called Mebo recommended to me. CT182. What does the pur uh, purple doesn't make Friends? Purple are people who are uh, in in game friends or Microsoft. In game, my, in game friends on Microsoft. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And that's just one of the uh, functions of Flow Pro. Lets you. Yeah, uh, I, got, well, I, I don't have that one turned on. I've got it all black. Look at that. The world's the world's prettiest ugly airplane right there. That is one weird looking system, but I like it. So I spent 30 minutes right before the stream uh, changing my graphics driver over to the new one. And I'm not having any hiccups. It looks really good. Well, that's great. <laughs> is is there a new one since like two weeks ago? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there is. Oh, uh, what's what's the date on the on the newest one? A couple of days ago. Oh, a couple of days ago. I think it's Thursday. Oh. Well, yeah, it was very, very recent. Maybe, maybe I should have done that before. <laughs> oh, well. I guess I'll do that tonight. Uh, I'm trying something new. Uh, oh, where sure. it actually asked me if I wanted to try X, uh, what, what is it? Direct X12 instead of 11. Uh huh. And. Sure. My stutters have gone down considerably. They haven't gone away completely, but they've gone down considerably. For me, the graphics driver jumped from 537.13 to 545.84. It's a pretty big jump in numbers. So, I don't know. But I was, having, I, I was having long delays or freezes yesterday when I tested it. I kind of got frustrated with it went in, I don't know, about 45 minutes before the stream started today to see what was going on, and I discovered there was a new driver and things, so I spent a little time fixing that. So. Everything's smooth now. Uh, yeah, so 545 something, you said? Yeah. Yeah, I'm on 537.58, so, okay. Yeah, there's a 45. It took a few numbers jump so that would, might, might be a big change yeah that's that's interesting oh i have probably missed a bunch of chat like turdog hi mm, sorry you feel bad turdog yeah sorry to hear that and uh and hope you feel better soon earliest oak welcome on in happy to see you it take uh, just let me scroll up and see if i said hi to vega blue sky I don't think I missed it. Oh gosh, wormhole extreme! I did not see you sneak in. So so uh, so so sorry. Oh and uh, oh gosh, earliest oak looks like you've been here longer than I, longer than I realized as well. And uh, oh and my stream is uh, my stream's lagging again as it does some days and then doesn't other days. Isn't that great? All right, never mind. Enough about. So if you wanna hop over to the next. Oh, okay, sure. Let me uh, see if I can make that happen. All right, so that back on Washington Island, there is a very nice uh, lavender farm um, that is boasts being the largest lavender farm in the upper Midwest. Um, it, but during mid-July through about mid-August is when they bloom, and it's very, very beautiful. Wow. Hmm. Are we flying over there? Uh, no, that was back on Washington Island. I didn't really want to interrupt. Oh, I see. I see. Uh, Peter's monologue. Oh, no! You know, you always interrupt me. <laughs> no, it's all good. Oh. No, it's good. Um, and ba uh, ba but I will, uh, but I'll interrupt to say, welcome in, Basil. Great to see you and JPM Navigator. Great to have you here, too. 
but yes, like Spundot says, I agree, Lavender is awesome. Anyways, we can uh, go on to the next image. Who is that herring? And that is Whitefish. Whitefish. So well, this is, it, um, is, it is Wisconsin. <laughs> I'm, I'm, so, I'm, I'm sorry, that was completely inappropriate. So this is, so I'm going to talk a little bit about um, fish boils. Fish boils are a very, I would say, pretty common event to happen um, year-round year in Dork County. They're very and painful if they dates back on your to feet. About the 19th century when uh, settlers were here and this was a big, big forestry area and they needed food to feed all of the lumberjacks and all the other various workers. So they came up with the fish boil. And the fish boil is, nowadays, it was commercialized back in the 1960s. And uh, nowadays there's like six different restaurants in Door County that you can attend one of these fish boils. Um, it is white fish, Red, red potatoes and Spanish onions and the process is pretty simple they put it all together in a pot with various baskets and they boil so I believe it's the next image yep the next image is what they call the boil over the boil over so Ooh. after about half an hour oh. they um the, what happens is all that fish oil and the various ash from the fire kind of floats to the top of the uh, pot. So in order to get all of that oil, well most of the oil off, they, what they'll do is they'll throw kerosene on the fire and it'll boil over and it shoots like, oh. I don't know, it's like 15 to 20 feet flames up in the, up in the sky. And it's Quite a sight to see. You can really feel the heat. But basically, that's, that's the how they end the boil. And you're usually gathered around, and the the boil master, as they're called, would tell stories. And then uh, I believe the next image. So this is, is part of the regular product. process, just to, to boil it off with kerosene. Yep, the kerosene kind of amplifies the boil. Look at that. Yep, I and it's that. usually served with uh, sauerkraut, not sauerkraut, um, coleslaw, um, various breads, and sometimes they'll even throw in some corn into the boil, but it all depends on where you go. Um, it's, it's really good. But yeah, that's an a, uh, event. It's or almost like a... Of the land of the people who eat lutvisk. It's almost a theater type of presentation. Wow. Whew. And then the next two pictures you can go through quick were some of the initial commercialized fish boils in the 1960s. Does the fish taste good though? Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Oh, I bet. What does that say back there? Can we can we read it? Nope. <laughs> All right. Very cool. Yeah, very well. I'm 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 gonna switch back to the plane here because I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> am I still I have I'm a, still following people? I have a lot of cans in my cabinet that say white fish on them. Um, they're made for my cat. But... Oh now. Um har 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 saber, welcome on in. <laughs> Happy to see you here. Did I miss saying oh yes, yeah, Spundot wants to know uh Center Gravity if there are seasonings involved. Typically, um, the way the Norwegians did it was mainly just salt. That that sounds about right. They didn't have many spices back then, so they kind of resorted to mainly salt. Huh. Um, they do offer various seasonings nowadays if you wanted to add. Have I fallen behind everybody now that... Okay, no, I'm still in the middle of the group. Oh, there's a monster in a moony! Yay! Hello. Hello. Hi. 
Anybody else uh, close enough to see their plane? Not back there. What about out here? Okay. The area we go through right just a moment ago here is uh, Sturgeon Bay. And there is the canal that runs through Sturgeon Bay here, as you can see to your left. And uh, it's a, right nowadays, it's a major shipping line that kind of cuts the time down between reaching the Bay of Green Bay and Lake Michigan. Is that a drawbridge in the metal or a regular bridge? Yes, it is. Yeah. And One the name the Sturgeon Bay came from... from but yes, uh, that, there, there is a drawbridge. Two, actually. One of them is a more historical and one's more modern. Actual modern Sturgeon. Yeah, I think this is KSUE that we're coming up on, is that right? Correct. Cherry Land Area. Speaking of cherries, next image. Aha! Uh -huh. So while there are many different fruit orchards in Door County, one, one of the main orchards would be the cherries. Um, next slide. The, the cherry season typically goes from about mid-July through August is when they're ready to be picked. And the, uh, if you, I, you know, they're not modeled in the sim, but if you fly over Door County during the cherry bloom season, it is very, very cool to see. And then next, next slide, I believe, talks about the Sturgeon Bay Lighthouse. Well, it doesn't talk about it. I'll talk about it. And it's one of 11 historical lighthouses in the county. And then, uh, because obviously, you know, back in the day, everyone knows how lighthouses work, you needed the lighthouses for navigation. And then, I believe the next image is that drawbridge I was, we were, the, yeah, the drawbridge we were talking about in Sturgeon Bay. It's not modeled in the sim, but it is. Fun. That was a great picture of a Great Lakes lighthouse. That was fantastic. Okay, can I go back and see if my plane's crashed yeah, yet? You can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, look, we're still flying. Awesome. Autopilot for the win. Ooh, there's somebody right next to us. Let's try a, uh, let's see, we'll go back here, and we'll go here, like that, and this, and then that. Then I ought to be able to... Peter, are you flying that Moody with the <laughs> gear down? Gear down? I am. Yeah, because if you did yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. trying to. Uh, uh, all right, I see. Trying Gerber to stay gone. slow. Well, I, you know, yeah, I could have done that. Well, that's but... one way to do it. I love the air brakes on this thing. Oh, me too. Oh, did I lose Nebo? Oh no, Nebo! I peeled off. Ah. Uh, so I won't be finding Nebo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that was good. Yeah, you know, with the flying with the gear down, it looks a lot more like the warrior I trained in, so it makes me feel more at home. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, hey, Papa Mish is here. Welcome on in. Happy to see you. Papa Mish, did you have anything to do with the, the whole Avatar uh, project? Because uh, that's the, that's just delightful. <laughs> I'm so... Wait, in fact, did I, I haven't even... 
look down here, did I? Let's see, if I do this and this, and just... That's not gonna work. Oh, let's see, I'm gonna have to turn on that. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go, we can't, we can't, oh, oh no, oh dear, dear, oh dear. I can't really see my buddy from in, inside the cockpit on this plane, but uh, I'm, I'm loving the, I see a doggo. Look, oh, I see a doggo. I'm loving the avatars, so, uh, uh, so, that one's a, uh, this one is a, uh, Rat terrier. No, the black and white uh, <laughs> herding. That's a sheep herding dog. Dogs. Her, herding dog, yeah. right? Um, oh, herding. Border, border, collie. border collie. Thank you. Border. Yes, border. border. Uh, controversial animal. Ooh. I got the, the Japanese one. Uh, Akita Inu. Uh, that one, yes. Yeah, the doge. that one. Doge. A Russian. <laughs> a doge coin. <laughs> Oh, sorry, voice discord. Uh, I was able to mute the stream, but not y'all. Um, and somebody I asked about a cat, and the answer is yes. Where did I miss that one? T. Miller, that's hilarious. But somebody uh, just asked about, can you have a cat? And now I can't find it. There is only one find cat it. model, right? No, no when they, the... in the pre-release announcement, there was like one cat and a dozen dogs, and then they released uh -huh. it, and there's like two dozen cats and two dozen dogs. It's amazing. Yep. Oh. Lots of Maybe I have to upgrade. Through. It's a regular shelter. It, it, it pretty <laughs> much is. Uh, um, so, um, Ascended Gravity, should I go to heading mode and head south from here? Because it seems like there was stuff. The original route. Uh, yeah, and I'll basically just follow the the uh, coastline to your left. Okay, so let me... Let me In the general direction. First of all, let's the camera back where it belongs then we can go over here that and hang a left and we hang a left there we go wait follow which coast <laughs> uh, to, your right. to my right coast it's my you. other left I'm sorry <laughs> I, I could have sworn you said the coast to your left but oh you said keep the coast to my left is that well there's Okay, there's coasts on both sides. Well, okay, yeah. The coast on your right. Yes. Keep it on your right. Oh, keep it on my right. But then if you turn around 180, they're going to be on your left, but on the right. So oh, no. if you get lost, it's not my fault. If you have enough altitude, you just cut your throttle and you coast all the way. I'm just, I'm <laughs> going to follow, I'm going to, I'm going to follow the group, I think. Uh, Wise words. Said by a yeah. Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> he he wouldn't know any of those. It's it's tragic that the voice discord can't hear stuff off of my soundboard. Like uh... that's true. Keep hearing it, a duck. It's... Yeah, we we. But, so that's from know. the soundboard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's that's. If you have the stream on and the discord on, you get doubled. That's no good. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hey, lip my stocking. Lip them like this. <laughs> Ooh, I heard that. Who Shy Lucy is in the Hellcat? Cool. Um, sorry, I was just catching up on chat, and uh, let's. Is there? Is everything is everything okay? Oh, hey, voyaging is here. Welcome on in. Happy to see you. And uh, let's see. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, and yeah, Papa Mish exclamation point ticket to get yourself entered in the giveaway. We've only got twenty four people currently entered in the giveaway, so you can type exclamation point ticket uh, to get yourself a one in twenty five shot at a free subscription to the Peter Mooney channel, or if you're already subscribed here, I'll give you a uh, subscription to any other channel on Twitch that offers subscriptions. Yay! Did you get a ticket for the giveaway? It's a lot of fun if you win! <laughs> <laughs> ah. 
<laughs> never gets old. It it never does, does it? You know, that's a it's a perfect sound effect. I've 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 added I've added quite a number to my to my soundboard recently, and I and I would be I just I, f I feel awful playing them uh, in a oh we can see Lucy's close enough to I, I, I feel awful playing them when when close Discord can't go. Just When I turn down live weather, that's going to be an interesting change for me. <laughs> I mostly fly in fake weather. Uh, oh, and by the way, 2-4 is a straight end, so I don't have oh, to nice. make, any, make any maneuvers on this one. So if you want to preface this line, not preface, but if you want to bring up the uh, next image, we'll talk about it. Okie dokie. So the first, well, if you followed the, um, yeah, if you followed the plan to the T, it'll take you to the west and bring you to the mouth of the Fox River on the north side of Green Bay, and it'll place you right in front of this bridge. This is the real, real, Leo Frigo Bridge, and it is the tallest bridge in the state of Wisconsin. Um, in the sim, if you do, if you do have photogrammetry on, you will not be able to fly under it. It Aww. has the dreaded melted into the ocean bridge. Anitis. Anyways, if you do not, you will be able to fly under. There's a couple bridges really along fast? the uh, Fox River, so if you want to hop off autopilot once you get there, if you could fly under them and have a go at it, feel free. Yeah, I think when I, I think when I checked this out before, it, see, it seemed like there was this one at the, at, at the mouth, and then I can see a couple more down here, and then I think if I followed the river down a little bit further, there's a third kind of uh, a, a third place, and and if I I flew under that one, and then the road that the bridge was carrying over the river actually led me straight to the airport if I just followed the road. Yep. And then. Um... Since we're getting close, we might as well do the next two shots. Okay. Um, if you follow, if you either go straight in 2-4 or if you hang a right after like the third or fourth bridge, you will fly over Lambeau Field. Oh, um, cool. I know a lot of you know of Lambeau Field, but it is a, uh, it is a NFL football team. It's the frozen um, tundra. Was it? Wasn't it called the Frozen Tundra or something like yeah, that? Yeah, so the nickname for the stadium is the Frozen Tundra, but fun fact, it is no longer frozen. They, uh, they use a kind of uh, boiler system in uh, PEX tubing underneath the field to um, send antifreeze underneath the field, and it actually keeps the field around 40 degrees when it's below freezing. Pretty cool. All You'll get pummeled in warm ground. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, I wouldn't call it warm, but it's the right <laughs> temperature for your cleats. <laughs> right temperature to get pummeled on. CMA639, welcome on in. Good to see you. Glad you can stop by. And we want the next slide? Uh, yeah, next slide is just the. Oh, goodness. From they changed out the video board this year, so it's a bigger screen. Uh, there's a new quarterback this year, right? Aaron mm. retired or left or something. Are, you're, you're not asking me, are you? No, no uh, yeah, he's right. There's a new quarterback. Yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> I was, you know, if you were asking me, my question would be like, is is that is this the one with the the round orange ball or the brown oblong ball? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's uh, let me just get back in the airplane here and make sure I'm not. Oh, so I'm gonna. I think the mouth of that river is a little bit off to my right. Yep. 
Yeah, if you want to shortcut it to the right. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, no, but now so now I'm remembering that the original route we kind of like went further south and then kind of came back northwest to get up to the mouth of the river. The river yeah. So am I missing anything yeah, just... off to my south? Yeah, you're going the right way. Okay. I cut all the corners and picked one mid waypoint. That's... I got a better view down here of. Oh yeah, so I'm not, it's not quite pointing me to the mouth there, so I'm going to try that. Something like that, maybe? I will tell you, back in 1972, 73, somewhere around there, there was a game played by the Oakland Raiders and the Green Bay Packers at Lambeau Field that was broadcast on ABC uh, Network Television. And it was the snowiest, deepest, craziest game I've seen in my entire life. And I'm old man. Oh, yeah. I remember that game. That was awesome. It was so fun. That was insane. I've never seen another game like that. Yeah, they couldn't, they couldn't hardly stand. They kept sliding all over the place. <laughs> the snow was literally drifting on the field. It was, it, it, yeah. it was, it was crazy. And I couldn't believe all the fans that still showed up. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of people there. Green Bay is hardcore. Oh, yeah. Is do, Does the name come from, like, meatpacking? Is the area... Is that what the area is known for? Okay. Yep, they were meatpackers. And they formed a football team. Then meat got really expensive and they became cheeseheads. <laughs> Doesn't the city own a certain amount of the team? So it's the shareholders, not necessarily the city, but the city does contribute. But yes, it's a, the only NFL team that is owned by the shareholders. Which uh, okay. are everyday public, you and me, what have you. And then, um, in order to own season tickets, you must be a, uh, well, there's a list. Let's just say it is a very common sight to see uh, if you have a kid. The moment they're born, they're usually put on the waiting list for a season ticket. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> Terrain ahead, pull up. 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 I think that's terrain ahead, pull up. I used to live in San Francisco and I remember the open raiders were like one of the coolest teams anywhere, and now they're the Las Vegas Raiders, right? Like the city didn't have a say in it. Oh, uh, uh, let them go because they couldn't really afford it. Don't forget, Peter, if you're there. going on final, your gear needs to be down. Yeah. I just thought it might be easier to. Uh, is this the mouth of the river here? Or am I turning into early? No, this is the river. All right. You had your gear down before, so I thought you raised it by accident. No, no, yeah, I, I raised it just to be a little more slippery going under bridges. <laughs> oh, very good. Oh, no. Oh, no, what? Sun Jammer tried to go under the bridge and crashed. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, he'll recover. He'll be fine. Wait a minute. <laughs> is this the, this is not the, wait. I'm not Check trying to go under that. What are you? Oh, oh no! I oh no! There's ah. our line too. What the? Oh. I guess he did. Oh. I thought I remembered a bridge here that was more. Was not. That's like power lines. Well, yeah. No, I hit the power lines, but that's. I thought the bridge was. <laughs> that bridge is very low. Oh. That's not the bridge that I was bridge. expecting to fly under. <laughs> There's more power lines. Okay. Well, please, the bridge I was going for, it's not even in that field, it's in the field. 
Nice clean. Line, look where the power lines are. Hello. Just where the bridge Hello. is. Hello. Let's pick up. Oh, can we pick up some airs? Oh, come oh, no. on. Oh, no. What the? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not okay. the. I did not sign up for this. Okay. Let's have an altitude <laughs> to pick up some airspeed before we get to the water. Yeah, I know the Taz isn't available. I'm slewing, you silly. Okay. All right. All right. Just remember, navigate, communicate. X creek. X creek eight. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. X creek eight. Uh, oh, nice. Touchdown, monster. So, am I the... Five hundred. Oh, great. Am I, like, the last person? Am I going to be the last person at the airport? Beautiful touchdown, sir. Hey, that's me. <laughs> so is this the bridge where I was going to turn right? I think it might be. Well, it would hardly be the would hardly be the first time. I see it. The non photogrammetry gives it a little bit of a roof. Lucy is high and fast. We're getting the play by play that for everybody that's coming into land right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My I'm last. Do you uh, want me to try to do how it goes out? Oh, there's a couple of people there. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Uh oh, did I overshoot? Oh, I overshot. That's a nine eleven test for ages, even in the even the UK. Uh, how about this? <laughs> oh, the tragedy. tragedy instead. What you mean, a sham of a trap? You mean a sham of a sham of a mockery of a sham? Looks. That sounds very familiar. Looks like if I time my approach right here, I'll be touching down just after the ad starts. Excellent. No, I'm kidding. Of course I'm kidding. All right, Munchy Crunch is next in. Short final. DH, the six. 500. And right down the middle, look at that. Center line, nice. Oh, bumpy. Oh, oh look pretty soft. Why am I drifting left? Is there a crosswind? Evo. Easy in. No problem. What? Coming in a little fast. But boop. Oh. Oh, my wet. What, what happened? happened? It's almost like you hit a bump or something. It's almost like she hit a... She hit a... Uh, Block in the middle of the runway or something like that. He, she. All righty. Mr. P. A. Coolhand with a D. A. Sixty two slipping in there, smooth as silk center line. I don't even know where I was in regard to the center line. I don't know where to go to line up with everybody. Oh, look at that. Look at that group. That's awesome. 
big group. Nice. Look at everybody. Just look to your left, Peter. You got a whole string of fun. Okay. I think I, I can tuck in down at the end here, I think. Wow. Very nice, people. What a good group. Thank you, Alpha Flamel. Right. There we go. We got a park the slideshow was awesome too. Yeah, like I said, cool there's a few I had to show you something. Yeah, we've been lacking multimedia lately, so that, that was really nice. It was a, <laughs> just media. <laughs> well, now wait a minute. There was, there was, but there were images and there was spoken word. Okay, fine. A moving image, aka a video, aka okay, multimedia. Fire. <laughs> Doesn't have to be video to be multimedia. As long as you're right. narrating a slideshow, you're multimedia. Oh, um, for the last flight, there's going to be a couple of of POIs that are not really in oh, the normal scene. Oh, yeah. Thanks for mentioning that. Let, let me get a quick screenshot here. Yeah, I can see everybody's name tags. Okay, there we go. Um, should I restart the sim? What do you think? I mean, Sim Caesar always does, but uh, doesn't always work for him either. Yeah, that's a, that's a that's a good point. It's it's fruitless as I far would, as I can tell. I would I would say there's no guarantees, but it's a short period of time, so I would do it. Okay, then in that case, let's. So I'm gonna go. Uh, you know. Normally, while while Sim Caesar restarts the uh, oh well, let's see, I should be able to catch that before uh, before I before I restart it. Yeah, uh, there we go. Yep. Oh, a couple friend requests. Let's see. Oh, hey Neba and AA Insanity. There we go. Very good. Oh, I thought I did that. Okay. Yep. Close. Good. Uh, alrighty. So yep. So ordinarily, while Sim Caesar restarts the stream, uh, he does another round of the giveaway, and we only have one. We only have one round. So, if you have not already gotten yourself a ticket for the giveaway, uh, take the time of this blank black screen here uh, in front of you to uh, to type exclamation point ticket into the chat and get yourself entered into the giveaway. Uh, and let's see if we can't get uh, the sim restarting here. Yep, there we go. Uh, and it, there was a POI thing. Yes, that that's that's about. that's exactly what. It, yes. So I even created a uh, right. So you never ever on the Sim Caesar Sunday Fly Along need to buy any kind of add-on. Just the basic simulator is all that you need. And. Uh, Am I missing? Yes, I just missed a bit cheer. Wraith Cat, 300 bits. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so that's the case here as well. On the, however, on the third flight, I, actually, I put a, uh, I put a temporary just for today command in there with all the information. So there is some add-on payware scenery that I happen to have. So that's what you'll be seeing in the sim. You don't need to go buy this. But if you are a person who likes, you know, adding scenery to your sim, I've been enjoying uh, this, these two uh, add-ons for El Salvador a great deal. And if it's someplace that you would fly, I would certainly give them my recommendation. But so, yeah, so there are, if you have the add-on, uh, it in addition to adding a bunch of different airports, it upgrades existing airports, it adds either... Uh, fictional or historic but now closed airports and it also adds POIs to the sim. So uh, when we get to route three, oh and I forgot to hang on. Actually actually so yeah let's let we come let's we need a new uh, yep I just I just spotted that. Thank you. Uh, but and, by entering it often enough you would notice. And I just <laughs> you know but I but then I also just noticed that the sim was restarting and now it's not. <laughs> so let me re-restart the sim. Oh, I see my browser window was creeping really? onto the sim window there. Then the let me see if I can switch over to route two and then get that in here. And 
put that there and then save this we, we are we are not going to el salvador next <laughs> oh my goodness Quas. hey really? oh Quas. hey Quas. what's that one? Quas. welcome on in what a delight seeing you how was your week? Uh, Quas needs to get into the Discord channel and tell us how his week was. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, we got a new follow from Earliest Oak. Earliest Oak, thank you so much. Appreciate the follow. Oh. And Wormo, I, I have watched Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Sorry you can't join this week, Quas says. Oh, you're staying with your parents. Lovely. Um, yeah, yeah, Quas, actually, Wraithcat filled in for you at the beginning of the stream and asked me how my week had been. Uh, so that that went well. Uh, <laughs> give my uh give my actually give give all of our best uh to your parents. I'm sure that uh I hope I hope you're having a lovely time and trust that you are. Uh yeah. Okay, so there's the so the Sims restarting the new route. Did this did the new route get in there? Wait, I just hang on. I updated the route, and it's oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Why on earth would that have not updated? It should. I wonder if maybe you need to let me. Oh my gosh! Oh, Wraith Cat! Oh my. Goodness, Wraith Cat five gift subs. Wow, going to AA Insanity, Peaches the Burb, Artek Red Dragon Welsh name, and I meow somehow. Wraith Cat, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah. yeah. We're going to just uh, help out go. anybody who might want to follow along, and uh, we're going to pick those folks as the best candidates. Yeah, all right. Well, thank you, Twitch algorithm, for, for picking those for us. Um, okay, so there's the route updated. Feel free to proceed if you want to load in. Uh, I'll get there in a sec, but I just want to finish up talking about the third and final flight after this one is the one in El Salvador. And so again, exclamation point Salvador in the chat will get you the link to the add-on scenery if you want to get it, but you don't need it. You can absolutely fly along. Um, the two POIs are some ruins, and you'll be able to see them uh, in the stream from my sim. Uh, so I, I, I think, I think that was Mr. Egan. Was there anything else I missed on that on that part of it? Uh, nope, that's it. It's uh, some ruins and um, a little, a small theme park, and uh, and. The 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 airports are going to look a little different, but that's about it. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, hey, there's a friend request from Munchie Crunch. Excellent. There's that's my it's Peter Mooney hashtag eight seven two. If anybody else wants to uh, wants to do, if you want to see your uh, see your uh, gamer tag turn purple in in uh, in my sim. Uh, Oh, and then yeah, so there's Turdog, and that's so I I did not know that Xbox Friends is different from um, Microsoft Flight Simulator Friends, but it apparently is. So I don't think I had any Xbox Friends until just recently, <laughs> but now I have, now I have a few. Okay, so uh, our next flight is in Texas and is hosted by Monster. So Monster, anything we need to know before we start? Uh, Loading in and uh, and setting up. No, uh, can't follow a center gravity. See, this is awesome. Oh, uh, stop! <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but anyway, it's low. It's a slow and low flight. It's flat. There's nothing to climb or go over. So it's just a straight flight through oil country. Right. Okay. Um. Oh, let's see. There's another friend request in the game. Oh, Lucy. Excellent. 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 Well, yeah, Turdog. I thought I thought it was the same system as well, and yet I now have uh, I got uh, I got an Xbox friend request and accepted it, but the person's nameplate in Flow didn't change to reflect there being 
uh, a Microsoft Flight Simulator friend. So I uh, please really yeah. Uh, b- but That's that weird. might now I wish I could remember who it was because Xbox ran the same as Game Pass. I think X, I thought. Yeah, X, Xbox and Game Pass friends have, have to be the same thing, um, I would think. But, oh, T. Miller works right near KIH. That's that's cool. That's why I, did. you, I didn't have flight sim load at all, and I just found you in the Xbox app. Okay. Huh. Well, so maybe that's the, uh, yep, yeah, okay. Well, it's you know, it's, it's so the other, I could be wrong about the th- about Xbox friend not changing the the nameplate because it may it may be that like it doesn't flow flow might only read it like when it launches and or like when you start a flight or something like that. So, and now I can't remember who it was to go back and look, but none of that has anything to do with getting our uh, next flight underway. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so we're leaving from, uh, KIAH, which is, it's one of the Houston airports, right? My, my right. goodness, Houston has a lot of airports. Oh, and Qua, how, 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 uh, what, uh, uh, that's, uh, it's, uh, coincidence or serendipity or synchronicity or something that Qua should, uh, should show up just as we're, um, uh, as we're going to Houston. Um. So let's see. Our other it looks like everybody else is. That's that's where it's. I guess I'll just take off from. Oh no, everybody's going over here because, again, that's and that's the way we're going. So I guess I'll come over here too, or maybe I'll do the parallel one so I don't have all you people inside me, because uh, that's rarely comfortable. Okay, so here's the part. And what our arrival? Let's see. Let me. It's already scrolled off for me. Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, oh, yeah, GLS Galveston. I remember now. Uh, uh, oops, okay, GLS Galveston, Shoeless International at Galveston. Oh, okay, <laughs> I'm not gonna belabor that, and uh, yeah, let's not do uh. Somebody's going to start singing Glenn Campbell if you keep saying Galveston. <laughs> that one looks good. Okay. And then there are there are two POIs in the sim and then there's a GPS waypoint. Uh I'm going to I'm going to add these two POIs first. There's Johnson Space Center down here and there's this San Jacinto, San Jacinto, probably Jacinto. Huh? Yeah, San Jacinto. Jacinto. Uh, monument. And then the GPS waypoint, you can absolutely copy and paste it uh, into the search box up here. But rather than risk overtaxing my map and having another crash to desktop, it's just it's just like the center of downtown. Is that right, Monster? Is, is that if I just yeah, click right here so you see this long river coming in which yesterday i could have told you the name of because i looked it up um but pretty much right where right right where the like where that sort of disappears that's the center of downtown so i think if you click anywhere right around in there and add so now if you've clicked those points you'll you'll notice that our flight route looks exactly like a football and uh yeah that's pretty much uh that that i think pretty much is is us good to go? Um, Monster, did I uh, did I leave anything out? Is there anything else that we need to... Nope, looks perfect. Okay, well then I'm going to hit the fly button and uh, we will see how long the sim lasts. Hey, there's a friend request from Voyaging. Excellent. So many new friends today. It's, 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 I'm not used to being popular. This is really a... Uh, Strange, and there's, oh, there's Tyro as well. <laughs> My goodness! <laughs> so, getting all the friends today. Yeah, Scully G. Uh, Discord chat can't wear the headset right now. Oh, 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 Turdog. All right. Well, gosh. Uh, I I sure hope that you feel better soon. Um. Oh, I keep meaning to find out. There's got to be an option <laughs> for that. Uh, because that just started appearing recently. What is going on with my time of day? Let's see if we what if we do real time and real weather. 
see what that's like. Alrighty. Uh, maybe back up a little bit here to get out of folk, other folks' way. That looks nice. Oh, those clouds are pretty. That should be fun. Uh, so, let's see. What do you have in the airport? Oh, ah, yeah. There is an airport in Galveston. All right, well, it looks like we got a bunch of folks uh, going up here. Nice big crowd over there on the left side. Oh, indeed. Who did I just cut out of the scene there? Oh, that's a sound of gravity. Got a quick screenshot there of at least part of the departing group. Oh! Wordiest Ash. Yeah, funky Cow. Lucy is over there. Gun Ho Guy. People using other runways. I'm just gonna see if I can't grab the. Comes Munchy Crunch on the double. Hurry up, get in the shot! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll go slower. Uh. be a little more downward facing to get the yeah there we go are, are you okay here comes Munchie alright that's good excellent <laughs> oh, barbecue beef has joined in now. And did we? Gun Ho guy is still over on the other runway. Gun Ho, I'm. I, I feel awful leaving you out of the group photo, but there we are. Oh, Lucy. Uh. uh oh, Lucy's oh. in a chopper. Apparently. But you'd hope so. <laughs> Copper? I haven't even sharpened her. <laughs> so I don't know what that was. There we go. Let's just do that. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, enough with that. Uh, everybody ready to go? If so, let's turn it over to Monster for uh, our uh, takeoff. Monster? Okay, is everybody ready? Get set and go! Beautifully done, and oh my gosh, Ascended Gravity, I completely forgot to compliment you on your excellent job starting off the first flight, but that was also very, very well done. I was just quoting you. Oh, okay, well, that's, you can never go too far wrong on the Peter Mooney channel uh, by quoting... Uh, Alrighty, we got 80. Let's see if we can. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't know about this live weather thing here. It's the uh, I have I have definitely gotten used to calm taking off in calm air in the sim. No doubt. That's cheater. Yeah, no no doubt. It's it's good for my. It's, uh, that's no more usable runway. We'll get the gear up. And I should probably be turning on course not yet we'll climb on up to seven at least 700 or so before we make our turn oh and there goes that uh i'm gonna have to change the change the radio frequency i guess to get uh, uh get rid of those messages because i really don't like them uh yeah okay a little bit of a right turn here. And uh, I think that's close enough to the course to at least get nav mode going. And I don't think we really need to climb much, do we, Monster? Oh, no. Yeah, it's, uh, it's all pretty much a little bit of sea level. Let's just let's level out here and see what we get. 
And of course we know we get really fast, so <laughs> go ahead and start uh, burning a little less fuel. Let's see if we can't keep ourselves down around 100 knots or so for folks who might have chosen something a little less fast and slippery. Okay. Now there's the... So that's like that's the in-game ATC. Before I thought it was something else, but how on earth did that get turned back on? At any rate, I think if we come back over here and uh, do that, I think that ought to get rid of those pesky, uh, pesky messages. That's a neat bug. I don't see the planes, but I see the people flying through the air, though. Get out! <laughs> no way. Oh, that's funny. That's the flood, uh, Fred Flintstone option. Yeah. <laughs> you don't think they're wearing jetpacks, but they're not. <laughs> oh. Who let the flaps down? Who? 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 Who, who let the flaps down? <laughs> there we go. That looks a little better. And then this. Uh, Nebo in form. All right. Oh, yeah. I brought the Mooney this time. All right. Look at that. It's the Mooney Brothers. All right. <laughs> Mr. P.A. Cool Hand. Hi, welcome along. Who else have we got? Uh, who else have we got in the group today? Look, am I going slower than need be? Am I the last in the group? No, there's some, some still some folks bringing up. Not uh, quite caught up yet. Ooh, voyaging. How slow are you going? Uh, how slow am I going? About 100-ish. Hundred and a little, okay. little more than a hundred. Let's slow down a little more, or uh, I have to use flaps to go that slow. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just I felt like I was leaving folks behind uh, before, which I don't want to do. So pull these back in a little bit. I got ridiculed for flying with my gear down before, and I'm really happy with that. So. Uh, oh, you're using the speed brakes. Yeah, you know, just spoil, spoil a little bit of lift on the wing, create a little bit of drag. You, you wouldn't think that a, just a tiny little thing like that sticking out of the wing would slow you down that much. And so it's, you know, it may be just a you know ridiculous flight model on Kiranato's part. I, that's difficult to imagine. I know, <laughs> but um, <laughs> no, I believe it works. Uh, yeah. Um, let's see. Well, who else uh, did we just spot? Uh, earliest out up high in the TBN. Oh my gosh! Oh, we're getting a raid from Ian Fisher. Oh, very Welcome, nice. Welcome, raiders. Welcome to the Tim Caesar-ish Sunday fly along. On the uh, here on the Peter Mooney channel, just filling in for Sim Caesar while he is on vacation this week. We got a nice group flying along. Uh, this is the second of three fly along routes we just took off. If anybody wants to join in, uh, we are down in the Houston area. We just took off from uh, K I A H uh, Houston, uh, Houston Trouble Roar. <laughs> it's not hobby, it's the other, <laughs> it's, it's the other one, right. Oh wait, K I A H is I A H hobby? Oh no, it's Bush International. K yeah. K I H I A H, where we just took off from, is Houston George Bush International. Uh, so that's by. Uh, what is going on as far as our? Uh, yeah, are we gonna? You know, I kind of feel like our our the route I put in there is not really gonna hit us overhead downtown. I think I pointed a little bit. The point I picked is not quite right over downtown, so I'm just going to head off to the right a little bit here so we can see the buildings. Uh, yeah. 
but yeah, so welcome on in right ears. I think, oh, that's what I was saying, is if you want to join us, load in at K-I-I-A-H and either flu or sim time to catch up. Or um, I think the, uh, I think now that I got Flow Pro hooked up to the chat, doesn't that nearest command work? I think I saw somebody use that earlier. K-H-O-U would be the nearest place to hook in. And we're going, from here, we're going to check out the San Jacinto Monument and Jen Johnson mm -hmm. Space Center. And then we're going to keep going south from there and land down in Galveston. So, uh, yeah, by all means, yes. join us if you like. Monster, yes? In, yeah, in between uh, the city and the monument, from the monument down to the Johnson Space Center, just take a look at all the oil rigs and wells and everything else that's that's all stationed throughout the whole area. It's just, it's, it's amazing. Okay, very good. I thought I had muted my phone, but I have just discovered that I did not. Okay, that's taken care of. Uh, so let's, the uh, yeah, take, uh, let's take the autopilot away and see what we can see of downtown Houston. Like, I noticed on the world map, uh, you can see, like, the Toyota Stadium. The, the, the stadium is round and has a white yeah. roof, and you can see Toyota in red in the, in the world yeah. map. But then, like, once I got into the sim and flew around down here, I couldn't find the stadium. <laughs> oh, is that what it yeah. is? I see. And yeah, and I leave photogrammetry off because it just makes everything look awful. So this vaguely round thing right here that I'm just coming over, that's probably the office building. Have you not updated the uh, Have you not updated the cities? I thought I had. Because I can see the uh, Toyota Stadium, and I'm not going right on to, to Houston or, or Texas. Huh. There was there was that like city update thing a month or two. Yeah, I'm flying or right over it right now. So ago. Well, did I? And you should you should also see the two foot, uh, the um, American football pitch and the baseball pitch. Yep, they're both there too. Huh. Well, I don't know how how come I'm not seeing them. I definitely did that. You're talking about that city update that came out a few months ago. Or a month or two ago, or relatively recently. Or this one is. Uh, the I think. I think Center. there's a new one. There's an, been another one recently. Really? Yeah, another another American Cities one. Huh. Well, I was. You know, there was an update to some add-on plane I bought through the marketplace that sent me to uh, uh, to the content manager just a couple days ago, and it, that was and it was the only thing that was there. Well, you have to actually go in and find the listing for it. It doesn't. Oh, show it doesn't up just automatically pop up into your. Okay. Well, so that's two things for me to check out after the stream today. Then let me uh, get underway here again. Oh dear lord, what have I? No, there's. Hi, hi, yay, yay. <laughs> okay, let's not take out that TV tower. What do you say? Uh, <laughs> let's see if I can get myself back on. Ooh, is that the monument that I'm seeing from here? I st yeah, straight in front of you. Okay, cool. Well, in that case... Uh, it was constructed between 1936 and 1939. It was dedicated April 21st of 1939. It's actually the world's tallest masonry column in the world. So. Huh. How? <laughs> How tall is it? 554 feet, Peter. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, I don't know why. Why are, why are we climbing? Uh oh. <laughs> Where are you going? Go. Okay, there we go. Let's, uh, where is it? That's, that's fine. Let's just level off around here. Uh, yeah, so just before we get the mont to the monument, you're going to see a bunch of the uh, oil tanks and, and rigs and everything in the refineries. Okay. What? Is this? Is the? Uh, uh, so, 
Althold is lit up on the. Uh... Oh, it's re so it's returning to the level where I had it set before. No, it's not, and it's also One not. Oh, I see what it's doing. In order for the autopilot to control uh, what the plane is doing, you have to turn the autopilot on. Correct. I, t mm. I, you know, if only I had known that earlier. <laughs> One of these days, you and I are going to work through this autopilot issue, and you'll be a pro. <laughs> or, you know. <laughs> so let's see. I was gonna, so I, no doubt, at this point, I'm now absolutely last in the pack. Oh, some people have been politely hanging out, keeping me company. Thank you. Oh, so there's Mr. P.A. Cool Hand. Welcome. Good to have you along in a DA-62 on E's? Wait, what is a DA-62? I thought it was a diamond. Yeah, that's, that's not what a diamond is. No, no, I know, it's, but it's a diamond, is it not? Yeah, but that's uh, different. That looks like a Vladis PC-6. Well, it, yeah. Well, yeah, that's, but that's, that's, a that's so Yeah, that's that's why I'm asking. So I, I, I set up my 3D model matching to make any commercial airliner appear as a Blario and to make any military aircraft show up as a PC-6 on skis. Uh, kind of just to have fun <laughs> and check out how the model matching uh, uh, add-on was working. Um, and because like on Sunday fly-alongs, I don't want to see airliners and military aircraft flying along. I'd rather see Blarios and PC-6s on skis. Uh, so, but this, but there's there's no reason I can think of that it would be turning uh, a diamond into a PC-6 on skis. It sh in fact, it shouldn't be. Uh, so, uh, Mr. P.A. Coolhand, my apologies for the misrendering of your fine diamond aircraft. Uh, you're in my sim. Uh, and I'll have to... That's a third thing for me to check out uh, tonight. And so that's... A, what were the... So it was the city's update. What was the one for, in the previous flight? Uh, city's update. Uh, oh, the, uh, the NVIDIA driver. Right. And then what'd you say, Sundriver? Sundjammer? Check the bridges. Bridges. Wait, what bridges? In Green Bay. They weren't right. Oh, okay. And then 3M DA62 to a PC6, which should not be happening. Okay. I've got it. a couple days' work cut out for me between now and my Tuesday stream. Woohoo! Um, cool Hand 71. Oh, so. Cool hand seventy one in the chat. Uh, I take it then that you are Mr. P A. What did we just? Uh, uh, oh, Mr. P A. Cool. I got you. All right. Well, welcome, welcome to Peter Mooney Channel. Happy to have you here. Happy to have you flying along. We normally do a fly along every. Oh hey, hey, hey. and thank you for the follow. Um, so this the, the the group in today's fly along and in and in the chat we we normally do this every Sunday over on the Sim Caesar channel, uh, but he's on vacation this week, so I'm just I'm doing my best to kind of squeeze into the costumes and remember the routines uh, to kind of get us uh, get us uh, through our Sunday fly along Jones uh, in his absence uh, until next week. So I hope you can join us. Uh, oh, so uh, next next I hope you can join us next Sunday for a similar fly along oh, on the. Tim Caesar channel, and yeah, Monster, go ahead. Because this is where we're looking I'm for sorry. oil wells and stuff such. So. Oh, go ahead. No, 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 I just wanted, I just wanted to say that it's, it's surprising how well Peter looks in, in Tim Caesar's bikini. Oh, 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 but uh, oh. <laughs> Wait, what? Thank you. I, oh dear. Not only, not only Mr. Popular, but also like uh, today, apparently, I'm pretty. Hello. 
that uh, Nebo? Oh, that's oh, me. Oh, that's you. Oh, cool. Are we uh, close enough to formation to do any kind of like... Hello? Oh, wait, is this... Oh, I see what's happening. Here. There. Okay, that was fun. So, Monster, is this around where uh, we were going to be looking for, uh, like, oil rigs and that sort of thing? Yeah. Oh, right. wait. I'm, I'm going right by the monument. Hang on. Hold the phone. What's going on here? I thought, uh, hang on, hang on. Autopilot away. Let's swing on over here to, uh... Uh oh, wait, what I missed whatever the the rim shot was for. <laughs> and whatever it was was not did not bear repeating apparently. Okay, fine. Uh <laughs> So how come the uh how come the autopilot didn't take me any closer than that? Oh I see what it's doing down there in the magenta line is sort of uh taking the turn early. Yeah, the autopilot likes to cut corners. Yes, sometimes. indeed. Wow, that's really something. Yeah, this is really difficult to erect. <laughs> uh, so oh this, dear. The star on top of it is uh, 220 tons. <sighs> wow. That's quite a monument. Yeah, what a story. Per perched on the tip there, glistening in the sun. <laughs> wow, it's got kind of like little uh, lines on it, and that almost makes it look like it's, you know, put together from individual like bricks, which can't really be the case, I wouldn't think. I mean, not like house building bricks, obviously, these would be. Oh, those okay. masons know what they're doing. Yes. Wow. wow. Can you go inside? Nah, there's nothing. Well, yeah, I mean, in real life, but uh, on the model, it's nothing. Oh, it. oh. It's got a bunch of folks down here. Are these like naked Egyptians or no? <laughs> <laughs> fully clothed, fully clothed Texans. Not quite the same. Somebody, somebody clip that. Oh no! <laughs> don't you dare! Uh, Do it. Do it. Already on it. <laughs> <laughs> Are these like human sized doors down here? Yeah. They're like little bean sized doors almost. Because if, if those are regular human sized doors, then this is. Oh my goodness, it's much bigger than I expected. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. She says. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, so. <laughs> Oh, also we're not. There we go. That's what I was looking to see if we could find. It's the view from within. Because uh, with that, again, I, you know, I'm a, I'm a, 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 a sad, sad substitute because I don't have sitar music, but we can, nonetheless, do at least a little of this for old times' sake. Am I right? And uh, when the last, the last, ooh, cool. The last, the last time I tried this, I thought I, I was holding down the speed up, uh, the camera rotation speed, or increase camera rotation speed, but instead it turned out to be increased sim speed. So when I came back out of the, uh, uh, 
out of the drone camera back into the airplane. It was the, the, the sim was sped up like as fast as you can make it go. Uh, so let's see, I'm gonna have to come out of there and back out here, start flying again. Uh, but uh, that was that was really funny. So like I unpaused and was suddenly in eight times sim speed. <laughs> it was it was quite the disaster. Those of you who were here may recall. Uh, so where are we going now? Where, what what direction am I going now? Oh, I'm going south, and I think I need to go east. Where's the? Uh, oh no, that's right. Oh, that's okay. I I see. I remember where we are. Oh, I seem to be losing some altitude. Uh, why why are we descending? <laughs> oh, uh, uh, there we are. Okay. Uh, yeah, I've, I've missed, uh, I have missed a whole lot of chat at this point. Let me see if I can get, uh, autopilot back on here. Uh, that's going to climb us back up to 1500, which we don't really need to do, but, uh, but it's going to give me an opportunity to look over here at chat and see, uh, what, oh, like I be a relic. Welcome. Uh, welcome to the Peter Mooney channel and a poor poor substitute for Sim Caesar's Sunday fly along. <laughs> it's the same group, same airplanes, same everything, except no Sim Caesar, sorry. Uh, but happy to have you here. And SFC Sapper, I if I I think I must have you know, I don't know if I said uh, uh, hello before or not. I'm 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 <laughs> Ooh, Space Hunter. Huh? I'm sorry? Space Hunter. Yeah. Oh, wait, we're there? No, we can't be already. Oh, everybody else is already there. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, if, you, if you're if you there, there's a model of the space shuttle on top of the retrofitted uh, 747. Yay. Um, wh where am I in relation to the, uh, am I anywhere? near to the uh yeah. i was still nine mi yeah, nine yeah. miles out yeah just keep following me here I'm on my way there wait so it says uh, the distance of eight knots which i'm going to cover in 17 seconds that seems i didn't think i was going that fast but i see my... well the, the those were ticking off so those are seconds going bu -bu 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 like that? I don't think so. Yeah, yeah it's because you're changing your airspeed and directions oh, the... towards the Okay. Alrighty. Huh. I'm gonna have to give that some more thought. But uh, okay. Uh was there something else I was gonna look at here? Okay. Well uh Well, that's it over there, isn't it? Not really rendered from this distance, but I'm on my way. I got something. I'm taking off the speed brakes. I'll see if I can see if I can stop holding you all up because it looks like I'm by the last in the group now. After all that, oh no, there's still some still some folks being polite and hanging back with me. Okay, excellent. Very good. Oh. Uh, what did I do over here? Uh, let's see. Did I? Oh, let's see. Space shuttle is a real space shuttle. Oh, that's a peach is the bird. That is interesting. Huh. That they would put a space shuttle replica on there instead of a, a real one. Uh, so how close are we now? Oh. 
did you get a ticket for the giveaway? It's a lot of fun if you win! <laughs> Thank you for reminding us, Monster! Exclamation point ticket in the chat to get yourself entered for uh, a drawing for a free subscription to the Peter Mooney channel, or if you're the winner and you're already subscribed here, I'll give you a subscription to any channel on Twitch that offers subscriptions. Who did I just smoke past? Me? Tyra! Um, am, I th am I there yet? Let's see. Found it. Nice. Right below you, Peter. Sorry? Right below you, Peter. Oh, right below me? Oh, then let's pause. Uh, yeah, a little bit in front. Oh, sorry, whoever I just live paused directly in front of. Let's uh, hang on. Let me go. That's me. Oh, okay. I'm orbiting it. Oh, yeah, here we go. I see it. Huh? Well, yeah. Very cool. Nice. Yeah. Nicely rendered water next to it there. Yeah. So who said that the 737 is a real plane, but the space shuttle is not, right? Yeah, that's yeah, what... Uh, 740, uh, 747, that's real. Or 747, okay. Yeah, it's retro. I guess it might be a cost question. <laughs> yeah, I guess. You, I'm, well, you mean you would... I mean, you would think, given that it's just the kind of the shell, <laughs> the outside of the thing, I mean, seems like anything expensive would have been stripped out of it if it were... Yeah, those heat shield tiles were into very cheap. Uh oh. Huh. I guess I reusable, that. maybe? Uh, well, I mean, we saw what happens when you're missing some. Hit, I guess. Ooh. <laughs> we saw what happens. Alrighty. Well, that's very cool. And I don't. I'm, my guess is there's not a lot more. Other than that, to see about the space center. No, that's pretty much it there. Okay. Yeah. No, uh, no naked Egyptians anywhere in sight. <laughs> no. In that case. But you know, I heard, I heard, uh, Mr. Johnson was pretty big. Oh, <laughs> where's the, uh, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, that is really, <laughs> There we go. No, that won't do it because I can't spell. <laughs> there we go. All right. Uh, did the autopilot make the turn for me? Is that. Uh, yes, I think I'm headed for Galveston now. All righty. Look. Um, what am I, am I, am I forgetting anything? So there's a giveaway, make sure you've uh, typed exclamation point ticket to get yourself in the giveaway. Um, we're, we're uh, approaching, the, this is the last leg of the middle, the second of three flights. Tenshul's here, hey, welcome on in, good to see you. Um, and so, yeah, so we're going to land in Galveston, and then we are going to do our third flight, which is down in El Salvador, and that's going to be hosted by Sim Mr. Egan. So uh, stick around, join us for the third flight if you can. That would be quite lovely. Um, are there more, uh, like, oil rigs and things down this way? Monster, I would have assumed... 
Galveston is. Uh, no, it's not. It's. I'm sorry. It's more just a beach. Uh, I see. So easy does it again. Welcome once again to the Peter Mooney channel, and in this case, welcome to the Tim Caesar Shabby Substitute Sunday Fly Along. <laughs> Where, as I just mentioned, we are in the uh, approaching the end of the second of three uh, fly-along routes. We're in Texas now, and we'll be in El Salvador next. If you can join us, uh, that would be lovely. Hey, I could probably go ahead and get ahead of the curve and put the third route in before people are, like, tapping their foots and checking their watches, waiting for it, right? Let's see what I got here. Oh. Um, just right next to the airport, there's an amusement park and the pyramids of Galveston. <laughs> I don't know what they're oh. for. They're there. Oh, how cool. Okay, so finally we got a chance to see some naked Egyptians. Uh -huh. that route actually updated this time. No, isn't that fascinating? Eh, maybe it just takes a little time for stream elements to catch up. Let me, uh, right here, is it a, no, yes. I'm probably <laughs> missing an opportunity for a flyby. Yeah, no, that's, it's up to date in there. It's one more time. That no, great. Okay, I'll come back and deal with that in a moment. Uh, <laughs> move over to Streamlabs. Yeah, yeah. Once again, proving that uh, that in fact, despite uh, rumors to the other one, uh, to to the contrary, the fact is that. Uh, But um, bump. Okay. So is the uh, looks like the airport is over there. Oh yeah. So across the water is the is the amusement park over there across the water where the airport is, or is it before we get to uh, it's right, next to, right next to it? Okay. It's just not loading in yet. Oh, we got a new follower. Flavor whiskey. Hey, I. Could have sworn you were already a follower, but thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. That's awesome. Um, okay, well, it looks like I got a couple more miles here before we get to where the possible Egyptians may be. So let me try this. <laughs> let me try this one more time with. Uh, okay, so I really. We will eventually find them, Peter. I, I, I too am confident. Right, that, save that one more time. Refresh that one more time. And then try this one more time. And there it is. <laughs> For those of you who aren't flying along on this route and do want to fly the next route, gives you a little bit of extra time to copy and paste uh, all those GPS coordinates into your so, uh, probably uh, Peaches the Burb, I think you are probably correct. I mean, if I were a betting man, that's the side I would bet on. Um, yeah. Difficult, difficult point to prove, of course, because you know, I mean, it's hard. It's it's harder to prove a negative than. Uh, you know, but, uh, uh, There's not a bunch of places we haven't been to that I'm certain have a whole bunch of naked people. We just have to check it there. Did I just... So here... Oh, I see it.
scary. Oh, we're getting right on over there. I better, uh, better quit fooling around and, uh, do I want to pause here and go look at the pyramids? Or, because, I mean, once I get in there, I'm going to, oh, we can, uh, if they're right next door, we can look at them after we've landed. Is that right, Monster? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's take the autopilot out of here and see if we can line up on this runway and get her, get her done. Let's slow it down a little with some speed brake action. That's good. And that got us down to gear operating speed. Also good. Uh, it's a very tempting looking bridge there, but I don't want to keep, uh, I don't want to keep everybody waiting since it looks like most people are already on the ground. And we'll just... Uh... There's like a water park next door that is that looks like it's all photogrammetry. Oh, is that the uh, amusement park that uh, Monster's talking about? With yeah. the pyramids? Well, if I need to, I can turn photogrammetry on and go take a look at it. Okay, so that's gear. Let's have some laps and reduce the power a little bit. We still got a couple miles to go anyway. My CBM wanted, was trying to land on the uh, was on the ILS without me telling me to do oh, it. Oh, good then. <laughs> Peer pressuring you. And Twitch seems to be timing its ad breaks with my approaches, because <laughs> it's telling me again, almost exactly, around when I'll be touching down, there's an ad break coming. So my apologies to those of you who are not subscribed. I have cut them down, have cut down the ads to as low as I can figure out how to, as infrequently as I've been able to figure out how to get it to do them. So. Uh, Type exclamation point ticket. Get yourself entered into the giveaway for a free subscription because subscribers are not subjected to the advertisements. So there we go. All right, I'm just gonna I'm gonna turn the tags off long enough to be able to sort of see the runway a little better. Okay, three green, gear down, 80 knots. Everything's looking good. A little bit high. I was seeing one red a moment ago. Get ourselves heading on down. Just have the last notch of flaps there. And just sneak in a little bit of speed break so we can dive a little without going too terribly fast. Uh -huh. Alrighty. I did say three green, didn't I? I think I did. And... Can we stall it on? Are we too high? Might be a little too high. Floaty McFloat boat. And oh! That was, uh... Gentilish. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's put the tags back on so I can see where everybody is. Oh, there's everybody over there. All right, come on, what's going on here? Eey. All right, here we go. Do we have ourselves a nice neat line? Looks like we do. Oh, yeah. Hey. Is there room down at this end? Looks like there might be room. Right next to this bonanza, maybe. Whoopsie. All right, parking break. And let's jump outside here. Let me, well, not exactly lined up with everybody, am I? Oh, check out that moon. That's really cool. Oh, look at this group. That's awesome. Lined up really good little soldiers. Absolutely. Oh, 
Oh, Pilot Coder is here. Welcome on, uh, welcome on in. Welcome to the group. Good to see you. Hi. And, uh, voyaging. Yeah, um, wedge, wedge in there at the end. <laughs> we'll get, we'll, I will squeeze you into the shot while keeping Pilot Coder in. Over on that end. I can see everybody except me. Behind Kev's sim corner is me. We'll try one from the other end. Okay. There's an ad break going. It's, I'd say, Mustix, but I haven't seen Mustix in far too long. And it's a U, not an O, so it's not Mwet. Oh, no, somebody vanished. Oh, let me, let me grab at least one quick... Uh... Oh, something's happening. Oh, no, somebody just did the clap command. That's fine. Uh, um, let's see if I switch down to the other end a little bit and take a different angle. Maybe that won't reveal a name or two that was... Not visible from that end. And I, I see Cool Hand has switched into the DC-3. Oh, we get some water from this end as well. But, uh... Well, not really if we're gonna... Can I see who Moo? Oh, it was Mwet! Why did that look like a... U? When it was an O? I don't know. Because it was munchy, that boy. Oh, it was munchy, Icy. Thank you. Thanks for clearing that up. There's enough water to... Okay. So there's that. So now, where is this amusement park? <laughs> uh, to your right. Uh-oh, my other right? <laughs> yeah, right. It should be right there, but I don't think it's uh, showing because you don't have photogrammetry on. I got baseball fields. Now it's more to your left now. Yeah, a little bit left. I don't think he has photogrammetry on. No, I so don't. So should I go switch it on? See what uh, see what we get? I mean, it's up to you. But yeah. Well, see, see where the um, apron is. Literally right right opposite that should be the um, fun Yeah, the, okay. That's where the naked Egyptians are. Oh, well, I'm definitely. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Definitely, <laughs> definitely switching on photogrammetry if that's the price of admission for for that. Uh, <laughs> and if it crashes the sim at this point, you know, let that be it. I did put a, uh -huh. a picture on the Discord too. So. Oh, okay. Well, I'm definitely seeing oh. pyramids. There you go. And power lines. I wasn't seeing those a moment ago. Huh. So, uh,. Water rides. That's the water. Oh park my right gosh! Yeah. Ladies, gentlemen, and all gentle beings, it's K. Thanks. Bye. Welcome on in. Happy to see you. Yeah, K. Thanks. And uh, yeah, well, these the pyramids look Egyptian, but I do not see people. So there's that. There's always hope that they're inside. <laughs> we it, took too long. They're already in the cars. <laughs> it uh, it does it does spring eternal, doesn't it? Yes, indeed. We don't have a boing command. <laughs> All righty. Something about there's a waterway over here via duck. Uh, I don't know. Um. <laughs> Alrighty, I think that's probably gonna do it for Texas uh, for today, don't you? <laughs> Is there a uh, um, uh, monster? Thank you so much for this cool route. Uh, Houston to Galveston. No problem. And, uh, yeah. Shall I... Thank you, monster. That was cool. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, no oh, are there cruise terminals? Probably. One would think. I wonder where they are. That looks like maybe oil terminals. You'd think for sure there'd be oil oil tanker terminals. But there's probably cruise terminals around here as well. Uh, but yeah, let's... Uh, so let's... Uh, do we want to vote again on whether or not I restart the sim again? You know what, actually? Now that I think about it... Uh, okay. So yeah, I got screenshots. That's good. 
I I am going to restart the sim. And in addition to that, I'm also, oh, hey, Captain Gaz, I will, uh, I will stick around long enough to do that. But as soon as I catch this friend request here, then I'm going to um, step away just for a moment or two because it's been, uh, oh, look, there's, oh my gosh, look at all the people who want to be my friend. <laughs> How exciting. Wait, I, Tyro, I thought we already did that. Maybe it didn't take. You never accept it. You just don't want to be friends. Now, now. <laughs> He's gotten so popular, he doesn't need any more friends. <laughs> yeah, I, the only exactly the only way I can guarantee acceptance is uh, if you bring a naked Egyptian with you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, voyaging, it does not want to let me do that one. Uh, okay, we will uh, we will try that in a moment. So I am going to uh, restart Microsoft Flight Simulator just to be on the safe side. And while it is restarting, I'm going to step away. Uh, Monster, take over the stream. Okay, Scotty, take over the stream. Not likely he picked you. Well, you're the expert streamer here. So are you when you get up to 100 followers. How many followers do we need to get, um... Oh, gosh. Let's see, Monster. It's 12 more. Oh, come on. No. Only 12? Oh, that's easy. Look, we got 41 people here. Hey, you guys can't even put the command in. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I, better, I, I better not say a word, then. <laughs> <laughs> So Monster's got 88 followers. Please, 12 more. Subscriber. 12 more and he will finally stream. If you unsubscribe now, I will <laughs> give you <laughs> I won't give you a subscription to any other channel either. <laughs> Come on, you could at least stream Sudoku or something like that. Oh yeah, Minesweeper. Yep. I bet you if somebody started streaming that Microsoft pinball game, people would watch. <laughs> yeah. Or Pong. <laughs> <laughs> Pong championships. There you go. That took skill. Especially if you didn't have the paddles. Yeah. I remember I had the paddle because there was one game I wanted to play, which was Night Driver. Oh. And, uh, and that game was so bad. Now that I look at it, <laughs> oh my lord. I think a lot of those games look pretty bad. <laughs> Yeah, you would you would buy the game because of the art on the box, and then you'd finally get home and be so disappointed. <laughs> yeah, they make the art on the box just look amazing and awesome, and then you get it home and you're like, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think those those are the guys who were responsible for selling those games. It was all about the art. Yep. All right, what kind of games? Atari games. Ah. The like the Egyptian games. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. So thanks uh, for uh oh, Scotty. Oh what did what is what it's what has Scotty done now? Oh yes, <laughs> by all means, if you are not already following Monster. Uh, in fact, we should we should probably check in. Is Monster uh, up to uh, eight, eighty-eight? We need twelve more followers for Monster SD. Oh, uh oh, wait a minute! I need to hang on. There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah. So if you are not following Monster uh, SD six one nine, click on his name in chat, uh, and then click on follow. Um, doesn't matter whether you turn your notifications on or not because Monster doesn't stream. 
but um <laughs> he will he will there's 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 you know rumors that uh when he gets to 100 followers he he may be pressured into streaming but uh uh wait 11 more do i need to refresh let's see what's going on now hey there's 89 yay we only need 11 more followers for monster sd um so when twitch calls for bankruptcy that's when i'll start uh, okay and then <laughs> let's see what about ascended gravity how many uh, followers. Oh no, see, ascended gravity. Uh, is it only we're has, not pressuring ascended only gravity. Has to, just no, no, no. We're not. We're not pressuring ascended gravity just to stream, but we would still like to get his follower count up a little, uh, a little more than thirty-one. The the ascended gravity made made the mistake. It was when Monster uh, became a mod for Sim Caesar that his follower count count just like shot through the roof, headed straight for a hundred in no time at all. Ascended Gravity made the mistake of becoming a moderator on the Peter Mooney channel. And as you can see, <laughs> the results are the results speak for themselves, let's say. Okay. Well he lose well he lost lost uh, lost them. Lo wait, lost lost two. Lost followers. Oh, 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 oh yes. Oh yes. Ascended Ascended Gravity had a hundred followers <laughs> before he became a moderator on the Peter Mooney channel. And the results, as I said before, the results speak for themselves. All righty. Where was uh <laughs> yes, that's and the soundtrack is reminding us all. Uh Sim Caesar actually sex tuppled monster in in one in one in one in one in one, in one night, yes. Uh, you gotta yeah. say that properly, otherwise people will think it some, means something else. Oh, really? Oh, I don't know. Uh, so let's uh, let's get the third flight underway, shall we? Um, Sim Mr. Egan, as I mentioned, Sim Mr. Egan, who does stream and who do, who uh, produces absolutely delightful streams that I have enjoyed uh, both watching and flying along. In uh, and I highly recommend Sim Mr. Egan to you if you are not already following him. Uh, not only follow him, him, but do turn your notifications on, um, because you you don't want to miss a Sim Mr. Egan stream uh, when he is streaming. And he doesn't do it regularly or even all that often, but when he does, if you're free, you you want to be there. Um, and that reminds me. Um, somebody remind me later once we're once we're airborne and have. Uh, uh, time to build to ask people about uh, notifications because there's a change there that I want to talk about. But for now, let's uh, get this flight going. Uh, oh, <laughs> paging Dr. Freud, Dr. Sigmund Freud. <laughs> there we go. There's so there's our route. And uh, Mr. Egan, thank you for coming up with this flight plan. And uh, anything we need to know uh, in advance, recommend recommendations uh -huh. for type of plane that kind of thing yeah, for a type of plane i would suggest something that can climb quickly because as soon as we take off we got to get up to around seven thousand feet in order to see into the crater of the first volcano okay and that so yeah that, and that's not that far away so if you have anything that's got a little turbo or a moon it would be perfectly would, would be perfect or one of the arrows or or a twin, you know, twins climb super fast. So, how about a uh, Beechcraft? Uh, how about a Bonanza? A Bonanza will climb just yeah. Those, those that that's a good climbing airplane. That's okay. Right I think the one seventy two may may struggle a little. It, it'll do it, but it'll it'll be a slow climb. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry for my. I was momentarily distracted because I I just I had this momentary sinking feeling that I had forgotten to put my uh, El Salvador payware scenery back in the community folder. I had taken it out oh. to make sure that everybody else uh, it, it was, you know, it's, it's, I just wanted to see what everybody else would see who didn't have the, the payware add-on and make sure that it was, you know, that everything worked. But, but I did put it back, so we should be fine. So we got the route there, so I'm going to put in uh, for those following along uh, uh, at home, I'm going to put in our departure airport of uh, Mike Sierra Sierra Sierra. That's Ilapanago International. <laughs> yep, Ilapango. Ilopango. Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm just re trying to read the script here. Uh, 
and uh, my uh, my 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 thanks to uh, to Sim Caesar's secretary who sent me a copy of the all the running gags. Uh, let's see, and then we are our arrival airport. That is Mike Sierra Lima Papa, uh, which is uh, El El Salvador Internacional. Yeah, yeah, uh, perfect. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, oh no! Somehow it didn't take. Oh, that's because I have to click on it down here. All right. So uh, as you can see, these uh, airports are in close proximity, but our route takes us uh, way on up around uh, up around where all these folks are. Why are these folks up here? Oh, are these for the folks we don't know? Wait a minute. Did I load in at the wrong place? How did I oh, load in at the wrong? Oh, yeah, you did. Oh, look, how did it wipe that out? That's really weird. Huh, okay. Mm -hmm. We'll try that again. Huh. Oh, you know what? I probably didn't actually click on it down here. Okay. That looks a little more like what I was... Okay, right. Yep, yeah, we start out by this little lake here. Uh, and then, as I was starting to say, our route is going to take us uh, all the way up around... Uh, this uh, this volcano. This is I, I'm so glad. I've been. So here's the where. You, okay, good. So I know I know my payware loaded in because these are the those two POIs that you'll only have if you have the payware, which is why we converted them all to um, lat longs. So uh, the, the easiest thing is just to copy and paste them out of the route command uh, and into the search box up here. Uh, so there's the first one, uh, which is going to put us right there. Yep, I recognize this from the ground. There's a little these 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 buildings and these buildings point pretty much directly at uh, uh, where that first waypoint is there. So then I'm going to clear that out, copy the second set, and paste those in here. Whoops! There we go, and add that. Yep, still looking right. You and and you'll note it's beginning to take the shape of a football. Uh, let's clear <laughs> that out and get the third set there and copy that and paste those in. Copy that and yep, so that's uh, definitely uh, the uh, a volcano right there. And then we got to set four out of five. Copy that. Paste it in here. That down here on the coast, lovely. And you see, there it is. There's our footballs emerging. We only got one more to go. And that is this last one down here. Oh, come on. Windows. Uh, there we go. All right. Uh huh. And there we are. All righty. That completes uh, our football round. So your route should look something like that if you've entered everything in correctly. And uh, yeah. So then we'll click fly and we will be underway. Oh, wait, we got one more, one more thing going on up here. What is that? Oh, wait, pilot coder. Oh, join. Yeah, no, if I, yeah, if I join a group now, then I, that doesn't work. I think, I think no, I think nobody outside the group can see. I think once you're in a group, you only see the other people who are in the group. I think that's how it works. But at any rate, I'm not going to, uh, Unless everybody else has already joined the group, uh, then I like. Wait, did I finish all that? Oh, Skipper Jeff, hi! <laughs> Welcome on in, and thank you for your question. That's an excellent question. <clears throat> um, so I so pilot coder, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit reject just because I'm pretty sure it it's it, it, to join a group would break things. Uh, what the, yeah, not doing that either. Okay, I'm I'm just I'm not gonna worry about that. Uh. Then at this point, I'm going to go ahead and click fly, um, and uh, and then we'll uh, we'll see what we get from there. Yeah, Skipper Jeff, we're I, I think after the first of the year, it is definitely my intention to get back to um, 
back to the Boston Vat Sim Group's Wings Over uh, New England program and finish up the second. I was a little past halfway. Uh, definitely want to finish those up maybe in the first quarter of next year. And then I'm hoping by you know next once well, by the time I'm done with those, uh, I would like to uh, find myself in a position where I can afford the uh, subscription to um, uh, Pilot Edge and do the Pilot Edge uh, cat ratings and uh, and uh, and I ratings as well. Uh, Skipper Jeff, yes, you're welcome. <laughs> you're always well, always happy to see you. Uh, particularly when you turn up with the, the the difficult questions. Who doesn't like addressing the difficult questions? Okay, let's see how we do with that. And then uh, I'm going to see if I can't just kind of back up here a little bit. Maybe do something like that. And uh, well, we got a great group once again. Let's see Lucy over I got a, a couple of things to say about the airport. Oh, abs yeah, absolutely. Up. Oh, and right, and so yeah, so this is so uh, again. I've got this. I've got the custom payware for uh, Ilopongo here. Uh, so you may, you may be seeing things in the stream that you're not seeing if you're loaded in. Like I'm guessing this is, you know, I should probably know from the shape of it what's going on here. It's maybe part of the AWOS. Uh, not really sure, but then this definitely. Uh, to, uh, well. That one, I'm not sure, but the, the VOR yeah, is behind this, it. Yeah, the VOR, the VOR I recognize as being what it is. And the windsock, that's pretty clear. I'm, I'm guessing this is part of the ASOS or AWOS system, but I'm not really um, sure. Can you zoom into the military building on the right side of the of the runway? Because I'm, I'm thinking maybe you don't have the scenery in. Really? Yeah. If you can see the, I had the, the, the Pango I had the main building. I had the POIs. Oh, like the main oh, the main did? terminal? Yeah. Yeah, you know what happens? What? I think you didn't install the air Oh no, you got it. You got yeah. it. That's it. That building is not there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. I didn't realize it was military. I remembered it said something on the front of it, but Yeah, it says it's a military air base now. Gotcha. And that that okay, this this airport used to be El Salvador's uh, international airport until 1980 uh. and and then afterwards they built a new airport which is where we're going to land at that's the new international airport and this one was turned into a military air base and just recently it has been turned into a general aviation air base and all the air schools are here are based here one of those hangars that you're looking at right now is one of where my school is at now. So. Oh, I remember that from the your, the stream of yours that you where I ended up flying along. I yeah. think it's it's this one, isn't it? Over here, where uh -huh. your school right is, right there, right behind there. Like 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 one of those right there, I think. Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah, exactly. All right. Well, so exactly here we are at 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 Sim Mr. Egan's home field in El Salvador. And, and, uh, and as soon as we take off, I'm going to tell you something about the lake behind us, which is also pretty Okay. Cool. Well, in that case, uh, here, let me just put the camera back over here behind the plane. And I'll get, I'll get a group shot before departure. But correct me if I'm wrong. It's a, we're going we're gonna to take off to the, to the north here. Why can I not find my cursor? Hello? Oh, because it's over there. There it is. Uh, and, and it does show up on the stream, I think, my cursor. Yeah, there it is. So we're taking off to the north, and there's a climbing left turn because we're going to skirt, kind of skirt just by the top of this volcano over here. Is that right? Yeah, exactly. Or is, or is, the, the, or is this the one we want to climb high enough to see the top of? Go yeah, we want to climb over that, okay. but not not where the cursor is right now, but it's the bump that is right to the left of it. Uh, That's where the crater is. Over here. The, the bump at the left. That bump, right? I see. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, in that case, let me get this back. Oh, wait. That's what I was, I was going to see if I could catch as many people as possible in a sort of a group departure shot here. Maybe with the mountain in the back. Oh, oh, let's see. Oh, there we are. Oh, there's, yep, there's some Mr. Egan. Get far enough away to get Munchy Crunch in. Oh, and Wombat is down there as well. 
that's that'll do for now. Okay, there's the one for the family album. And if everybody is more or less ready, I think I am. Uh yeah, parking break off. Flats are set. Yeah, I was whenever so we're take we're at we're at 2100 is our departure elevation and we need to get up to did you say 7000 so we got about 5000 yeah pretty much 7000 okay yeah. so about 5000 to climb as quickly as possible all right uh take it away mr salvador <laughs> <laughs> mr all right everybody yep on your marks get set vamos all righty here we go i was a, an stol right there ahead of me Munchy AL03, AL03. Uh, yeah, I'm in the Alouette 3. Alouette 3. I am. It's a helicopter. Cool. Ah. I'm not familiar with that. Lucy in the SAV. Something, I lost sight of it. Now I'm gonna. I should pay a little attention to my aircraft and what it's doing. Oh, there's a little bit of wind, okay. That's really it for usable runways. Let's gear up. Could help us climb a little better. Okay. So, yep, go ahead. As you guys are climbing out, if you look behind you, you'll see there's a big lake right behind the airport that we just took off from. That is called Ilopango Lake. And that is actually the caldera of a huge, huge volcano. Interesting. And that volcano, when it blew up in 431 after after death, after uh, Anno, AD, Anno right? Domini. There you go. Uh, that um, expelled the equivalent of 44 cubic kilometers of dense rock. Whew. It is Ooh. one of the biggest volcanic events on Earth in the last 7,000 years, pretty much. And that's some people uh, think that that's one of the reasons Teotihuacan in Mexico was abandoned because uh, of all of that uh, gunk in the air, right? Huh. Wow. And um, it's the, the only historical eruption that has been, uh, uh, that has been written down, has been recorded, was on December 31st, 1879. And that produced a lava dome that is inside the lake, and it turned into a little island inside the lake. And that is called the um, the, the burnt islands. So those are these little burnt islands that just stick out of the, out of the lake. Huh. El Salvador is one of those places that no matter pretty much where you live in it, you're living on the edge of a volcano. Huh. You know, I, I had I had no idea that uh, that there even were like volcanoes in Central America. But, I mean, of course, I mean, duh. If I think, if I give it a moment's thought, then duh, of course there would be. But I just I, I guess probably yeah, a probably a typical American. I don't tend to think about. <laughs> Uh, about well, the, a, about the parts bunch. of America that are not the United States of America. <laughs> there's a whole bunch of them. And uh, this right uh, underneath us is the city of San Salvador, and that's pretty much where, where I live. And we live right on the shadow of this, of this other volcano, which is the one we're going to climb to, which is called the San Salvador Volcano. It's called in, in uh, its name is Quetzaltepeque, which means the hill or the mountain of Quetzals. Uh, and that is also, it can also be said that it's called the beautiful place or the beautiful city. Huh. Now, is, is this San Salvador off our left wing here? Yeah, San Salvador. That is the, that's the city, okay. the capital city of El Salvador. Okay. What does Quetzals mean? It's a, it's a it's a type of bird that has a really long, uh, beautiful tail, and um, here in, in in El Salvador, it it also means in in Nahuatl, which is the the original language of of 
of the natives that used to live here, uh, that means beauty or beautiful. So uh, the hill of the Quetzals was also the beautiful place. Dangerous but beautiful. Uh, it, yeah. Those tend to go in pairs, right? Beautiful things will kill you. <laughs> ask any, no, ask no. any naked Egyptian. I, I was going to make a joke, but I... Yeah. Um, is, is there... Uh, so there's the purplishness and the things in the chat about the... Do people not like my purple gamer tags? Uh, and, and Jeff, yeah, it is... So I am using Flow. So is, am I... Mr. Egan, am I heading toward the right hump? You're heading perfectly, yep. Okay. You're heading right up. And... Uh, you will. You can start to see the crater now. Oh over, yeah, on the right of your cowling. Yes. Wait, on the so and the right or the left. That is there, crater. Is there, is there really a village built up here? There, it's it's all restaurants and uh, oh. like uh, places you can go to look at the at the at the volcano. Look at the Boqueron. It's called a Boqueron. It means big mouth. Oh. The big mouth is around 1.5 square kilometers, and it's 500 meters deep. And when it, it did its last eruption in 1917, uh, it, it went out the back, the, like the, all the lava came out the back of the, of the hey, volcano. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna warn people. I'm, gonna, I'm about to pause. I, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna live pause before it all comes out the back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you will see that inside the crater, there's another smaller crater. And from that last eruption, it made a little tiny crater inside the big one. And oh, I remember when way, I was a kid. So like all the way down in there? Yeah, there's a tiny little crater there in the center. Huh. When I was a kid, um, we would go down there with my friends. It, it, would, it would take you like three hours to walk all the way down. Huh. And, uh, and then climb back up. Wow. The Grin Mia, welcome on in. Delighted to see you. And did I miss? Um, oh, okay. That's the Swedish word. Really? The Swedish word for chair. That's interesting. Oh, really? St oh, uh, st Stol. Stol. Oh. Because because we were talking Stol. about short takeoff and landing earlier. Sorry. Uh, then, Mr. Egan, can I ask you a question? Sure. You said it takes three hours to go from the top into the crater. How long do you need to get to get to the top from the outside, or can you just drive there? No, you, yeah, you can drive there. There are roads all the way up to the top. Oh, okay. But the the volcano, the inside of the volcano here, it's it looks less steep than it actually is. Well, it does look quite steep, yeah. And yeah, and nowadays you cannot go down anymore because uh, after the last earthquake that we had in two thousand and something, two thousand and one, I think it was, uh, a was lot of the. Yeah, a lot of the walkways that have been built to go down to the bottom just fell off. There's just, oh. you know, with the oh, rumbling. Did they all go yeah. out the back or? <laughs> we have not checked if they ended up out the back. Okay. But now we will look. Oh, okay. So shall I hop back in the airplane here and resume? Uh, uh, okay. Oh, yeah. You guys, as soon as you climb over the top of the thing, you want to you want to descend because we're going to hit the first uh, waypoint. OK. How far should we descend? We're all at 7000. Oh, no, no, no. You guys, yeah, yeah. as soon as you get over the, the, the lip of the crater, then you need to go ahead and descend because that's where the first ruins are of um, Hoya del Seren, which is a city that was um, excavated. They, they were building a, a, a plant for, for, I don't know, what kind of uh, a factory or something they were building there. And then while they were digging, they hit a structure, like a big rock. And they said, what is this big rock? And so they started digging it up. And it turns out it's a whole village huh. uh, wow. of people that wow. live there. Yeah, and and um, it's estimated that those people were living there in the year 400. 
and um, and those guys pretty much like the whole town died when when uh, Ilopango went up. But it's super well preserved, and uh, and they're still digging it. Oh, so they had a, so they had a Pompeii city. experience. Sorry. So they had a Pompeii experience. They have a yes, a very similar Pompeii experience. Yes. It's over this way. And uh, just don't sell speed, so there's actually uh, naked Romans in Pompeii. Now, now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sure everyone had their toga on when the uh, when the volcano uh, when the volcano blew. Uh, not with the new building they found. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I wouldn't say it's. Uh, a, a place um, you take your, your wife to. You it wasn't your, family uh, friendly, right? No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's family friendly, no, but I'd say you would take your, your male friends with you. I see. If you're looking for a good time. Huh. Um, am I, where am I in a custom? No, I'm still, be, it should be right over the first waypoint. Um, am, oh, am I there already? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's not that far yeah. away. This this first one is not that far away. If anybody's behind I'm me, I'm going to pause and check out the... Let's see, where are you, Peter? I'm trying to find you. I'm flying over right now, just in circles. And let me see if I can find you. Oh, I see monsters. Oh, there's Omar Man. Okay. Well, let's see. I can. Uh... Looks like I have gone back, but let me uh, let me unpause and circle around here. Oh, yeah, I think I recognize the nearby buildings now. Mm -hmm. Sort of, ish. Oh, and that tree for me. Yeah, I think it's it right over this way, isn't it? Oh, wait. Oh, it's over there? Oh. I've gotten myself turned around somewhere. It's right around here somewhere, so I'm going to pause again. <laughs> Switch to the drone camera. Why am I having trouble spotting this? Wait, is that it over? No. Yep, it's right where Monster is. It's exactly underneath Monster. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave the. Oh, 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 duh. There we go. Okay. Yep. Yeah, we got it. Should be coming up on the stream now. Yeah. So they keep they keep excavating and excavating and excavating, and they keep finding more and more of the city. So um, it's it's a uh, it's quite a find. And nowadays it's all covered up because the the rain was was eroding it. Oh. So now there's like big hangars covering the whole thing and they continue to excavate and there's a whole bunch of people studying it. Wow. And I'm sorry, how long ago was it that they that they that they found it? They found they must have found this like in the seventies, sixties and seventies. Okay. Huh. And they've been uh, they've been digging ever since and uh but dated back to how far? Four sorry? Four hundred, yeah. They lived here, yeah, in the year 400 after 
after Christ. Like, like the, okay. No, it's not that old, considering. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. yeah. And uh, how, how old are like the oldest uh, Central and South American ruins? Uh, the ones that they have found here, they're not, they're not that old. Well, no, but I meant like Machu Picchu and, uh, that other one. Oh, those guys, I am. Those guys are a lot older. Yeah. I was, I was, I was thinking how, how old are the Aztecs and the, uh, what are the other ones? My, my, Mayans, right? Yeah, Mayans. The Mayas, yeah. 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 They are a lot older, but, uh. So Sun Jammer will know. <laughs> yeah, my uh, I school gonna, knowledge. I was just going to correct you. Uh, Machu Picchu is only about uh, 700 years old. It was yeah. built, in the, built in the 1300s. Huh. Oh, there you go. So then what about, uh, what's the other one? That's Machu Picchu is you, Mayan, is that right? And then there's an Aztec one. Yeah. No, that's Aztec. Oh, these are Mayans. Oh, these are Mayans. These are Mayans. Okay. These are Mayans. But these are the same as in Mexico, uh, Mexico as well. Right. The Mayans right. Because the Mayans ruled the Central America. Okay. Well, isn't there a famous Mayan one that's like on the kind of same fame level as Machu Picchu? Yes, it's a, yes the one in Mexico. I can't remember. Okay. What it's called. Oh. Teotihuacan, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, where uh, where the where the um, Spaniard killed the king, the the king in the end. Right. There's a callback there to everything coming out in the end, but I'm not uh, going <laughs> to even uh, go for that. So, okay, so yeah? as, we, as we climb up, uh, we're going to pass a big lake here to our, to our, uh, on our left. And guess what? That, that lake is also a crater of a volcano. <laughs> And uh, that is also, that is called Santa Ana. That is called Lago Guatepeque, or, or the hill or the mountain of the snake. That is the actual translation. And uh, but it's a, it's a, it's also a, a crater. And uh, inside of it, uh, there's a, there was another tiny little volcano inside of it. And that's where that was later turned into what they called the mountain of the snakes. I don't know why. I imagine there were a bunch of snakes there. Huh. So, oh, is that and is that that one that's a little behind me now? Oh, that one's ahead of us, uh, and it's it's bigger. That that little one behind us. That's just a lagoon. That's a natural lagoon there. That's not volcanic I see, at all. I see. But the the if you. If you fly uh, to maybe around 4,000 feet, you're gonna see the, the lake to your. You're gonna see the lake to your left. I think Scotty is flying right over it, right, Scotty? Yeah, I'm just to the south of it, I think, right now. Yeah. And there's a like there's a, like a little island inside of it. Oh. And that is a really. A fun place to go in, and, and right now it's like a tourist, very touristy, like really expensive houses that you can rent and um, jet ski and all that fun stuff. Uh, but that 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 volcano, uh, that lake, still has hot springs. There, there's parts of the lake where you can go and the water is really really warm oh, wow and uh yeah oh, so is this so like right off my nose here am i looking at like a whole like this ridge line is this like one edge of the caldera that's one edge of the uh -huh. caldera yeah. <laughs> so i'm about to see a, a, a big lake i got i got you yeah. Okay. It's a big, big lake. Uh, Guatepeque is around 25 square kilometers. That's how large the caldera is. And it's 115 meters deep. Ooh. And it was formed from eruptions that were uh, in the year 57,000 and 72,000 BC. 
<laughs> That's a bit yeah. much. And that last island in the center, that was formed in the year 8000 BC. Oh. I know Davey, but Attenborough wasn't around there to see it. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was only like a thousand years before he was born, right? Yeah, yeah. This is gorgeous. It is beautiful. And is that a? Uh, if I turn this way, am I going to see an island? Can't tell if that's an island in the lake or if that's a peninsula. Yeah, it's an island in the lake. I see, cool. That is uh, it, at the top of that island. There is an ancient Mayan temple huh. that was called the Temple of the Snake. Oh, okay. And that is well preserved. That one hasn't been touched at all. And there's a whole bunch of, of, of uh, wealthy Salvadorian families who own most of the properties on that little island. And they have all made a, a, a society to preserve like the Mayan uh, buildings on that little on that little island there. I see. So can you, are visitors allowed or? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, cool. There's a, there's a ferry, and uh, you can take a ferry um, from the edge, and uh, you can drive around the island, and, you know. Neat. Is there any, there's, there's nothing not, modeled in the sim? No. no. A couple of houses, but I guess that's it. I see. Yeah, I think they're all auto gen uh, I have yeah. a, uh, a couple of my friends have houses there, and I tried to find them, and no, I can't find them. Uh, autogen stuff. Mm. Yeah. Just got to say to Skipper Jeff, unfortunately I haven't got 60 seconds to tell a joke about the Mayans. Uh, but if you wind on another 60, uh, for another 60 minutes, you may have, you may have one. <laughs> Washcrank, hi! Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by and saying hi. Hope your day went well. And I hope your, uh, oh gosh, seven, eight, uh, oh, I hope your uh, night went well, too. <laughs> and a very nearly good morning. The third waypoint is called Tasumal, and it's also ruins. It's also a city that was around 200 and 600 AD. And, uh, that one is it's just uh, they have only dug up one of the of the of the temples because sadly the city of of Chalchuapa was was built on top of it so they can't they can't dig for more because there's already somebody else's houses and properties on top of oh, it yeah. oh skipper jeff oh no oh Skipper Jeff CTD, I'm so sorry. Oh no. He offended no. the gods. <laughs> all right. Uh, all of this below us, uh, all of this green stuff is, uh, a lot of it is coffee plantations. Most of it is coffee plantations. Ah. And also uh, cocoa. There's a lot of chocolate made in El Salvador. I thought there were bushes. These look like trees. Yeah, uh, there's a, it's a whole bunch of, of uh, coffee uh, coffee trees. Oh. That Salvador makes really good coffee. Yeah. Our main crops are coffee and sugar. And uh, they used to do cotton, but that one, that they don't do that anymore. Descend a little bit here. Get to this other Asking room. for a friend, do we have to rise a bit after the next waypoint? 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> after you get to the third waypoint, you're going to have to climb pretty high because uh, after that, we are going to the Santa Ana volcano, which is 7,100, 7,800 feet. It is the yeah. tallest volcano in El Salvador. This could be interesting. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> 9,000 feet gives you a nice view of it. Yeah. Did you say 9,000, Scotty? Yeah, around eight, anywhere between 8,000 and 9,000, you have a nice view of it. Okay, cool. That's, okay. that's, where, that's where I'm positioned up, but I'm using the uh, Xbox to walk around the city. And I am flying pretty much. Oh, there you are, Peter. You're, you're just about to get to the ruin. Uh, that's what it's I was right thinking. Right in And as you can see, the whole town is built, you know, around where they found the ruins. So. Oh, heavens. Yeah, I also just pushed the wrong button. <laughs> Hang on. Hold on. Oh, okay. Oh. okay. There we go. Oh, time to pause. Uh, <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> yep. Sorry about that. Yeah, that's the, uh, that's called, uh... Working with pros. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Um, what view am I in? There we go. That's what I was looking yeah, for. Something should be to your right. Right. Yep. right. There it is. Ooh, perfect timing. That was on purpose, right? Yes. Yeah. And those are called uh, Tasumal, and uh, people who live there uh, live there between 200 and 600 uh, AC, AD. And about 2,000 years model? before AC. Um, it's right. Sorry? It's in the it's in the uh, the payware payware add-on that I have, so it's not so. Yeah, you, you're not going to see it in the base soon. Yeah. I was wondering if if it's model on the inside as well. Oh 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 uh. oh! I don't know oh if there's gosh. any naked Mayans in there. Oh my goodness, <laughs> Wash Crank! Thank you so much for the gift sub. I'm yeah. going to oh to Turdog. Oh, it wasn't a community. Wait. Oh, it was a community gift sub, but it went to Turdog. Yay! All right. Right Turdog was having a, a rough day. Hopefully that will make him feel a little better. Um, was this a, uh, I, I, I would be shocked if there were anything interior um, modeling, it, but be cool. I, I doubt, I doubt oh. there would be Egyptians, but maybe, maybe Mayans. Oh, uh, that's to say, that's actually, this looks like <laughs> those, the those, aren't, yeah. those aren't your Egyptians, they're Mayan. <laughs> Well, there's a little. They can look it out. There's, at least something. Oops, but, yeah. There's a little bit of in. There's enough interior modeling that we can get in here and. Whoopsie. Yeah. Oh come on. Ah. I was gonna say that. Looks, Sorry. Go ahead. Look, I was gonna say that looks like one of the uh, pyramids in uh, the New World's uh, M and O uh, pr uh, game. Oh, it looks like it. Yeah. The especially the steps coming up and what have you, they use yeah. they got there's a few um, Mayan uh, temples in in the uh, in the game because it's based in the new world sort of thing. Huh. I guess that's about it. Uh, Go ahead. Arrow holes, but <laughs> that was about it. Yeah, not. Not I don't. That's but pretty cool from the outside, yeah. Yeah, very cool. And when I was a kid, we could all, like, it was a tradition in El Salvador that when you graduated, you would take your whole graduating class and uh, stack them up on the on the pyramid and then take a picture, right? Oh, wow. Yeah. And, yeah, and then the, the, the Ministry of Culture decided that we were destroying the monument by doing that. Oh. So. Old sticks in the mud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. What's uh So now it's all cordoned off. You can't really go up in there anymore. Uh -huh. I still got my picture on there though. 
<laughs> oh. We need evidence. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll, I'll send it. I'll put it, on the, I'll put it on the thing on the... Discord? On oh, the Discord, yeah. yeah. Um, I have to find it because that's those are still paper. Those are not digital by any means. Which way am I going? I thought... The wrong way. Yeah, after that, we have to head uh, south, pretty much. Uh, here. Okay. So it's, uh, it's around 160 degrees. Thing. Okay. Heading of 160, maybe, and you'll be good. All right. Okay, now we're heading to uh, a big mountain, which is which is interesting. Okay, this big mountain we're going to climb or fly over is called Cerro Verde. It's called the Green Hill. It's actually an extinct, extinct volcano uh, that they say erupted. Last time it erupted was 25,000 years ago. Its crater uh, eroded and it went and it and it turned into a, a rainforest. Uh, but the top of the of the of the of the hill had it was was kind of flat and it had a premier spot to look at the other volcano which is right next to it which is the newest volcano or the youngest volcano in El Salvador and which is called the Isalco volcano Isalco means the place of the dark sands and it is the youngest volcano in El Salvador and it is originally from 17,000 uh, uh, 1000 what the, the year is 1770. That's when it erupted. Oh, yeah. that, that's when it was created, actually, 1770. So, sorry? I was thinking 1771, 1774. Uh, 1770, yeah, yeah, exactly. It, it's, it's super young. And, um, and you will see it as you fly over it, you're going to see that it's the one that's all sandy. And uh, you, it's got no vegetation on it, it's just like a lot of sand and ash. And uh, anyways, uh, that volcano in the last century was actively uh, erupting and throwing uh, like huge uh, lava. It was shooting up lava and sand and fire and everything. Prior to 1966, the volcano was super, super active. And that's why people called it the Lighthouse of the Pacific. It had a nickname, the Lighthouse of the Pacific, because people from the ocean over there, you, you could see it. Hmm. Uh, so in 1958, uh, a president in El Salvador decided that it would be awesome on, on here on Cerro Verde, which is the big hill right next to it, to build a hotel so that you could overlook the volcano while it was erupting and get a front row seat right to the to the light show right so he goes and and they build this beautiful beautiful hotel and the four months before they inaugurated the volcano went dormant <laughs> so that hotel is still there <laughs> It has been uh, recently, the, the new government has recently, recently um, remodeled it, and uh, now it's very fancy, and you can go up there and uh, spend a night there and have a beautiful view of the ocean and El Salvador's youngest volcano that still has smoke coming out of it. There's still smoke coming out of it. It, it hasn't erupted ever since the inauguration of the hotel. Oh, that's the waypoint we're coming up to. Looks that's, like. Yeah, you'll see the you'll see the volcano right over the on the other side of the mountain, and you'll see it. It's yeah. all still pretty. It's like it's made out of sand, right? It, it, it's dark. Yeah. It's yeah. Dark sands and. Uh, compared to the rest, yeah. Yeah. It's and uh, I, I, you can go up that volcano. There are pathways to climb up, but it takes you pretty much, I don't know, four hours to get to the top. And it's, it's all loose sand. So coming down is a, is a challenge. 
your pants will end up with a lot more holes than they originally had when you started going up. I can imagine. It makes it easier for everything to come out the back. But, uh... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'm, and, uh, I'm just, uh, and, and right just be getting behind the, Cerro Verde. I was going to say, I'm just right getting to 9,000 feet, so I think I'm going to pause here and yeah. see what we can see. Right. Here. Right behind the, you know, Isalco and Cerro Verde is El Salvador's most recent uh, erupting volcano, Volcán de Santa Ana, which is right where uh, Captain Zinga is flying over in ascended gravity, and all you guys are flying over that. And you'll see that there's a, like a little green, green water lake in the in the in the center. That volcano is called uh, uh, Santa Ana volcano. Uh, also called Ila Matepec, which means the mountain of the old woman. And I don't know what these, now what's we're thinking of, because I've been up there many times and I have never seen an old woman there. There is I got one of those. no naked Egyptians, no old woman. Okay. No. So is, the, is uh, the, the one with the lake, is that the one with the hotel or is the one with the hotel the, the sh slightly shorter one here? The, slight, yeah, the slightly the... shorter, you, you see right now from where you're looking at, you see the big one with the with the water. Yeah, that's the one with the hotel that you're flying over right now. And that's the newest one, uh, Isalco, that was called the, the Lighthouse of the Americas. That's the hotel right there. You found it. Okay. Awesome. Whoa. Okay. That would certainly have a good view of an erupting volcano. But yeah. so then it's, 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 it's this, well, it's, this is, this is the volcano that's, that's, that went dormant, you're saying? Yeah, that's the volcano okay. that went dormant. Cool. As soon as they finished. Huh. So if you want to stop a volcano from erupting, build a hotel next to it and work for us. That's one way. All right. And then Santa Ana volcano, the big one behind it, it er the last eruption was in October 2005. Oh, wait, this, the one with the lake? The one with the lake inside it, yeah. Oh. That one, when it exploded, it, it shot hot water and mud and rocks and ash. And uh, happy to report only two people were reported dead from that eruption. Oh. Prior to that, it had erupted in 1904 and then 1920. Wow. And now there's like a volcanologist station there all the time. And when you go up, you feel pretty safe because when you go up, they tell you like, oh, no, it's OK. It's safe. There hasn't been any activity or anything like that. I, that this is the we just saw uh, to the left. Uh... Peter just Sorry. switched. We saw a nice <laughs> lake down there. Is that also some kind of volcanic activity or something? Inside the volcano, there is a lake, but no, it outside, looks... outside, there was one uh, further down. Kind of oh yeah, that's like the a... one. That's the one we flew past. Oh, uh, no, okay. the way there. I'm... Yeah, that's Quatepeque. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. So obviously, that in like, in that little hot spot. Like all of these are different vents from one big mega volcano, I imagine, on, on the bottom. And these are just like, you know, it, it could go out Isalco or go out La Matepec or go out Cuatepec. Oh. Because it's so my they... Geography is a bit balled back. Is there some kind of tectonic two plates or something here that there's yeah. so much activity? All of all of the all of the Pacific rim, right? is all yeah. volcanic yeah. and this is we're right on the edge of the of the tectonic plates okay that explains it. just to say the fault line that is actually this San Andreas uh, comes all the way down here as well yeah so when you go to a Dalvadoran restaurant do you want to ask for like the two plate special or <laughs> <laughs> you gotta ask them which plate you want on top of the other one ah, yeah. Uh, does does uh, San Salvador have any Egyptian restaurants? 
Uh, nope, sadly, I don't think we have any Egyptian restaurants. There used to be a couple of Mayan ones, but they were to die for. <laughs> Peter, how about a Egypt flan next week? Um, hey, why not? <laughs> you make a quick note. I'll think I'll, of something. I was going to say, is that the sort of thing that you'd have to be to be a sacrifice for? <laughs> okay, we, we've seen a whole bunch of old things, but now we're going to see some new things on the coastline. Uh, El Salvador's president uh, decided when he came into office that he was going to uh, rebrand El Salvador, right? So he came up with this brilliant idea. El Salvador has always had great surfing because of the I guess it's because of the Pacific Ocean and the fact that the tectonic plates are the way they are and the coast the way the coastline is we have great surf I mean it's fantastic if you're a surfer you 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 know about El Salvador's beaches and you want to come surf here so the president said uh, he's going to make El Salvador he's going to turn El Salvador into surf city so he rebranded a big part of El Salvador's coastline into Surf City and has been promoting the building of, of like swanky hotels and all sorts of beach life culture and everything. Um, so right now we're going to be flying to a waypoint that is pretty much in the middle of what all Surf City looks like. And it's, it's actually not a bad idea. It's pretty good, I think. A lot of people come here and there's a there's been world tournaments for surf championships and everything so and uh and this year uh miss universe is going to be in el salvador and uh they're going to be doing a lot of the things here at at the surf city a lot of the events are going to be at the surf city um uh coast cool It's gift says El Surfador. El Surfador. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. Yeah, market that. Yeah, yeah. El Surfador. Come for the surf. Oh, Sagrin, it's uh, Sagrin. It's uh, it's going fine. I'm as you as you can uh, tell. I'm I'm shabby, sloppy seconds, but uh, you know what are you what are you gonna do? extraterrestrial oh miss yeah you know i had not thought about that sand track but it would make sense if it's truly miss universe you would think that there would be yeah. uh you know interstellar uh entrance representation yep Drivers joined in. Welcome. Good to see you. Wombat, Tyro, who else is? Okay, so there's Captain Gas hanging up there with Tyro. Yeah, I think you went from your 100 knots to your Cooper song. Oh, did I? Well, you know, I mean, we're descending, so yeah, I, uh, I was keeping it slow. I'm, so, I'm still in the green arc. <laughs> Here at one, I'm you know, one sixty-five or so, or thereabouts. That's the max I can do when descending. Gotcha. I can, you want me to slow it down a little, or are you uh, you okay? It's up to you. Oh, Sagrin. All right. Well, I hope that you get a uh, a good night's sleep, and I hope that work is uh, as pleasant as possible uh, tomorrow. Thanks for coming by, and uh, good night, yeah, sleep well. Good night, Sigrin. Good night, I think it is. No. Uh, or was that Norwegian? I'm not sure.
here on the edge of the of the of the ridges of the mountains you can see some little towns that have been built and uh, they're very touristy towns little touristy places when you say touristy what do you mean by the lot of hotels or? uh yeah they're, they're, but they're like uh, more like bed and breakfast kind of thing they're yeah. not they're not big enough to be um yeah, like resorts or anything like that. It's mostly it's small. Oh, this is, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing the coastline. And I'm still pretty high. How high am I? Oh, it's still uh, all about 4,000. I don't know, man. Ooh, hang on. There. Oh, come on. Ah. Uh, next waypoint after that, uh, that one we're going to need photogrammetry on because that's the the little park that they, that they built. Oh, and um, you know, I meant to turn it. I think you left I, it on. Yeah, I meant to turn it off, but I think I forgot. <laughs> so it should be on. Yeah. I'm in nav mode, so it should be turning me. Is it not? Seems to not be. Is that because? Wait a minute. Do I have to? No. Oh, is it okay? It's gonna turn. Alrighty then. So the coastline is pretty much just, you know, very dramatic. A lot of cliffs, like a lot of uh, drops, and um, and there's a whole bunch of hotels. I mean, a bunch of hotels and restaurants and everything all around the coastline. So it's really good food, really, really good food. Great seafood. I uh, I was already so hungry before you mentioned. That. <laughs> 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 oh, brother! It's seafood and eat it. <laughs> yes, I'm on a on a seafood diet. Uh, uh, yeah. Alrighty then. Uh, it's like some people say I'm in I'm into fitness. I'm into fitting this whole pizza in my oh, mouth. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh. Let's see. How low are we going? Come any more than 600 feet. Uh, you think 600 feet of buildings and people? You know, a good idea. Uh, you can get away with it. Either there's a second sun in the sky, or somebody is in close formation. And it's getting me Roger O W Ooh. It's Wombat, cool. It's, uh... Okay, it should be right where the dock is. There's a big long pier in the water. And right before that is the, it's the little um, uh -oh. theme park. I'm almost there, so let me... Uh... Yeah, you're almost there. Okay. No, not there, here. 
And then here. Now you'll see the pier and the water. And then, and then right here. next to the pier. And then, like that. Aha! Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Surprise! And that's the theme park. There you go. And that's the pier. <laughs> it's not that big, but uh, it is called, it's the entrance to Surf City. Huh. Uh, and here's the fun part. It was built under the most, I mean, it's super secret. You, you don't know who it belongs to. You can't ask who owns it. Really? Nobody knows where the money came from. Yeah, nobody knows wow. where the money comes from. Bonanza G36 Flyer, welcome on in. Good to see you. We're uh, just nearing the end of our third and final fly along today. We're uh, on the coast of El Salvador, either in or very close to San Salvador. Uh, we are. No, we're not. not close to San Salvador. We're not? No. I thought we were pretty much circling back to almost where we started, no? Uh, we're circling back, but uh, that's about an hour drive away. Oh, the, I see. Yeah, the the new airport is nowhere. Oh, because it's the, not that. I place. got you. Because it's not okay, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, that's that's really cool. That's yeah, and that's it's a beautiful park. It's one. It's lovely, but nobody knows who made it. Nobody know who owns it. And if you ask for information, uh, it's they all say it up oh, top secret. Sorry, can't tell you. Really weird. I know it's strange. Oh, oh it's on pause. Whoopsie. Hang on, where are we? There we go. Uh, okay, that should be all right. It's a South American headquarters to search for Shadow. Um, I think so. That's, that's what everybody keeps uh, saying. Uh, another theory is that it was uh, a gift from the Chinese government. Huh. And nobody wants to say because the Chinese also gave us. A couple of, of um, they're making stadiums for us, huh. but they're super public about the stadiums, so we wouldn't. Nobody understands why they wouldn't be public about this thing, right? So I think Sun Jammer, I think you got it. I think you hit it on the nail on the head. I didn't wait. What was the what was the uh, what was the nail hitting? The South American Importers Association. Uh... South American arm of the shadow. All righty then. Well, where we're going to land is called Komalapa Airport. It was finished in 1979. It was built by a Japanese construction firm, and it became uh, El Salvador's new international airport. Uh, and it's also home to Aeroman, which is a maintenance company that services airplanes from all over America. It handles A320s, uh, 737s, A330s, 757s, A340s, and Embraer, all sorts of Embraer jets. And it's fun because you go, you go to the airport and you see liveries from all over the world. And their planes are planes that don't normally fly into El Salvador and they're just getting maintenance done. So we got like the biggest airplane garage in, in the world, pretty much. That's cool. Sure, you got a lot of plane spotters there. Yeah, it's fun. It's a it's a really nice place to go. Reminds me of a I saw a thing on the web yesterday. Um, I forget the name of the website. It's one of those kind of. I think it's run by somebody who's like a flight attendant, but it's a kind of a general, not a general aviation thing, but it's an aviation in general <laughs> kind of topics that get covered. But the the article was about a, a, an image from Google Maps. That's of Detroit Airport, uh, but there are um, seven one. There are a pair of seven one sevens parked at adjacent gates, in Lufthansa livery, and Lufthansa has never flown seven one sevens, and Lufthansa mm -hmm. doesn't fly to Detroit. So, people were speculating about how that could have happened. 
And also, I forgot, and I, if anybody reminded me, I missed it, to ask people about Twitch notifications, because mine, something radically changed in my Twitch notifications a few days ago. Like, I would just randomly, like, for years, Twitch notifications were just seemed kind of like random, like sometimes, once in a while, if it felt like it, I would get a notification. And starting three or four days ago, Twitch has been blowing up my phone because, like, apparently I have notifications turned on for every every channel I follow, but I never got them. But now suddenly I'm getting, like, every time anybody I follow goes live, I get a notification. So I was just wondering if anybody else had had anything similar. Yes, I do. Yeah. Oh, so they changed something. Something changed. All right. Um, oh, my gosh. Here comes the airport. Um... <laughs> Anybody know a runway uh, orientation or? Uh, oh, I said, you know, uh, run- I think I remember this. I think I want to hang a right here. <laughs> yeah, run- runway seven is uh... seven. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I say my local airport has got the um, uh, the only facilities in the UK for bird servicing seven eight sevens. Unfortunately, they took they took away all the. Uh, um, Aircraft uh, place uh, stands for people to watch the aircraft land. No. Uh, yeah, during COVID, they decided to close them all down and uh, dis- and uh, de- and destroy them all. Oh. In the name of secrecy for their customers, or just because they wanted because, the space for something else? Because they're uh, uh, can I use the word a holes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean British? Yes. <laughs> uh, right, right at the start of the airport, uh, to your right, you're going to see the big hangars. Those are all Aeroman hangars. Those are where they do the maintenance. They're huge, huge hangars. Wait, on the they can do on the left. Yeah, the, yeah, right on the right at the, at the left. Do you see those big hangars on the yeah. left? They'll have Arrow Man written on them, and uh, that's where they do the maintenance. And you've got him, right? You got an embryo outside one of them as well. Yeah. Oh dear Lord! Why am I about to stall? <laughs> they're they're expanding right now, and they're going to make up to. They're going to be able to uh, do. 32 planes at the same time. Whoa! Yeah. That's a lot of airplanes. Yeah. So we're just hoping that none of these volcanoes decides to start erupting again and make uh, flying to El Salvador not feasible because otherwise. We'll have to move Ironman somewhere else. I don't know where airplanes will go in the volcano blow. <laughs> oh, wait. Where did, did everybody else go down there? Oh, everybody else is down here, aren't they? I turned the tags off for... So I could see the runway to land. Get in the line. Let me, let me jump in the line, Sonora. <laughs> Take a quick look at the airport here too, while we. Um, and you know, now that the now that the end of the stream is nigh, I am reminded that I should ask. Ha 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 ha! Okay. Hey, lift my stocking. Lift them like this. That's neat. They got little parking lots for us. They do? Yeah, little they parking can... stalls. Yeah. There must be something I'm not seeing. You will see shortly. Oh, he doesn't have it on his. Oh. There we go. Oh, Peter does a seabed. 
Oh, it might be part of the standard uh, scenery, and yeah. I've got the add-on, so that's that's probably... Looks yeah. like it, yep. At least there's not an elevation problem. I was afraid everybody b uh, but me and uh, Mr. Egan would be floating 20 feet off the runway. Nah, you're pretty <laughs> much on the ground. It's just you're missing lots. Mm -hmm. Those, the, this, uh, the, the, what you're seeing in, in uh, Peter's is... The way it looks for real, pretty much. It's yeah, very, very... I was guessing that, yeah. That this wasn't actually parking lots, but yeah, I found it kind of neat for the sim. Well, it's the it's the age-old problem to get an angle that displays all the name plates. I can't get the background. <laughs> we'll do a couple of couple of them here when we get folks so that means that my the mine is showing the my uh feeds for the aircraft then what i i i i i i i i aircraft or ai aircraft i should say oh the ones in the back there's a, there's ai aircraft yeah i've got i yes i've got the um just sim global oh. traffic thing Oh, uh, yeah, okay. All righty, let's see. There we go. Yeah, I can see everybody's tag there. We'll do one like that with tags, and then we'll take the tags off. Do something where we can see the mount. What's the shortcut for screenshots? I thought it was F12. Well, I'm using the, uh, like, Xbox something something something. <laughs> if, you, if you've got an NVIDIA, if you've got an NVIDIA card and you've got uh, their add-on, it's F1. Right. For me, I mean, I, ass I, I assigned it to um, a button on my stream deck, so I just... I. For me, I push the screenshot button when I want a screenshot. <laughs> that seems to work. There we go. There's some mountains in the background. And... But yeah, so yeah, if you do the Windows and G to get your Xbox game bar up, you can do a screenshot from there. So let's take a quick look over here at... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to sell this person's scenery. I have no... Uh, uh, I have no vested interest in, uh, you know, no uh, no relation to disclose. What's that? Uh, there's I, my vocabulary is completely gone because I need to eat. But uh, uh, I have I have nothing. Oh, nothing to gain yeah, Oscar... from. <laughs> oh my. Oscar Arnolfo Romero the, the, is a saint, and he is the only saint that has been made a saint from El Salvador. So that's what the name of the airport is is under his, his name. Then Oscar Arnulfo Romero y Caldames? Yeah, it's a long name. A very but... long name. Um, yeah. Blue, uh, Here, it's just... Blue Echo, thank you so much for the resub. Six months, that's awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I say praying to that man, you never got what you were praying for. <laughs> oh, but um but and then uh, I think uh... that's a little shopping center in the back. Yeah, a little shopping mall. Right. And then there's right. a little bit of an Easter egg. What you got now? Ikea? You got now IKEA? Uh, nope, not an IKEA, but uh... it's a lovely seven seven fifty seven down here. Portal Frame is yeah. the name of the developer of this scenery. Yeah, that plane isn't there in real life. No, uh, I was I was guessing that it wasn't. And then I don't seem uh, that's to. A seven, that's a seven five seven, by the way. Sorry. That's a seven five seven. Isn't that what I said? Seven three seven. Well, I certainly meant to say seven five seven because it's obviously what it is. It's my favorite, my favorite jetliner of all time. Well, except for the L ten eleven. But the seven five is what I did. The vast majority of my um, passenger flying in when I was a road where road warrior for a software company. Um, 
So right, so this is I guess the car like cargo terminal here, and then all yeah. of the uh, maintenance hangars and Aramon down here. So these are the this is the maintenance facilities Mr. Egan was telling us about. Yeah, they got a lot of hangars now. It's like half of the airport is theirs, pretty much. Yes, very nice. Oh, where did everybody go? Did I lose everybody? Hang on. No, everybody's oh, still everybody's still here. Draw distance. All right. Uh, yeah, probably right. Yeah. Okay. Well then, let me. Uh, let's get up here to uh, some kind of nice view for doing a few things for the end of the stream, like. We're going to do the giveaway uh, in just a few minutes here. Uh, only 39 people entered in the giveaway at this point. You can type exclamation point ticket to get yourself a 1 in 40 chance at a free subscription to the Peter Mooney channel. Or, if you're already subscribed here, any other channel on Twitch that offers uh, subscriptions. But before we do the giveaway, I want to say thanks to a bunch of awesome folks who contributed to the stream today. Uh, first of all, for everybody who flew along, thank you so much for flying along. Oh, um, something's happening. What's happening? Oh. Hawk Driver, thank you so much for, uh, thank you so much for coming in the, uh, uh, for flying for flying along and thanks for saying hi in the chat and um, right so we'll, we'll do the giveaway as soon as I say thank you to uh, some other folks uh, who have contributed today we got a bunch of bit cheers uh, we got uh, oh my gosh bit cheers from um, monster spun dot cold Nebo Tyro mr. Egan and Wraith cat everybody thank you so much for uh for the bit cheers and then we had some resubs uh well we had a we had a resub blue echo was our resubscription today uh at six months thank you so much blue echo thank you for for the for the resub and then gift subs uh mr egan uh giving a gift sub cold nebo and wash crank each giving a gift sub and then wraith cat who apparently had to go? If I'm if I missed Wraith Cat uh, saying goodbye, I I I I, I feel awful about that. Uh, Wraith Cat gave a, an awesome uh, five five gift sub bomb. Uh, just uh, I appreciate that so 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 very much. Um, so with the, so and then uh, uh, so thanks to everybody for flying along, and then a big 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 thanks to Ascended Gravity for that delightful route in. Uh, Wisconsin and to uh, Monster for the route in Texas and to Mr. Egan for the route in El Salvador. All three of them really fun flights and uh, uh, I just I, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's been uh, been a tremendous uh, amount uh, of fun today. So that means I think it is just about, if not actually time to uh, do the giveaway. It's getting very, very, very close. Uh, there's the, uh, there's the close button on there. So in just a few moments, I'm going to kick the, click this close giveaway button, after which you will no longer be able to get yourself a ticket to enter yourself in the giveaway. So, uh, it's your... Did you get a ticket for the giveaway? It's a lot of fun if you win! <laughs> it's your last chance to enter now! <laughs> 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 uh, uh, go ahead and do that, uh, cause I am indeed going to, um, shut this giveaway down sometime after the end or during uh this drum roll i'm gonna click the button and uh oh there we go uh so the giveaway is over there's wait what oh no oh soundtrack you're gonna have to do better i just i don't know what else to tell you you're gonna have to oh and m glickman oh Hey, between soundtrack and M. Glickman, I don't know, you know, I don't know what to do. But, uh, you know, I mean, what are you going to do? Ah, uh, tragic. It's absolutely, absolutely tragic. 
I think the only thing that will make me feel better at this point is if we pick a winner. So let's do that. <laughs> okay. So uh, we are going to find out who won this giveaway uh, sometime before, during, and a or after this drum roll, since uh, apparently I don't know how to do audio timing. And we're going to... Oh, let's see that's... Oh, there's the draw winner button. And... <gasps> What? Congratulations! You are the winner of a subscription uh, to either the Peter Booney channel or another channel on Twitch if you're already subscribed. And Moet is currently subscribed. So Moet, just let me know what uh, channel you would like a subscription to, and I will be uh, be happy to take that. Uh, Moet, you still here? Um, I'd ask in French, but I, you know, all I know is, uh, um, bonsoir, bonjour, and maybe bon nuit. Um, but, uh, what? Hello, anybody? What? Uh, parlez, you still here? <laughs> Parlez-vous at giveaway? Oh, there you go. Okay. Very good. Okay. Oh, perfect. Very, very, very good. Yep, just send you can send me a Twitch whisper or a Discord DM, whatever is uh, easiest for you. That will be great. So congratulations, Mwet. And oh, that's not what I meant to. How did that? Okay, there we go. I don't know what I did with that, but so that can go away over there. And then yep, those are over there. Um, I th think that is everything except thanking. The moderator, Scotty, who didn't really. Anyway, uh, and uh, Soundtrack and Ascended Gravity. Thank you so much for moderating the chat today. It's uh, you know, typically on Sunday in Sim Caesar's stream when I'm like trying to fly the airplane uh, and you know keep an eye on chat. I, I have a very, very tough time dividing my attention between those two. But when it's flying the plane and streaming, and trying to watch the chat, I'm just I'm completely useless. So if you said hello to me in the chat and I didn't reply to you, please, please accept my apologies. I wasn't being intentionally rude. I just missed it. And uh, so, you know, I feel awful if that happened. But um, that, I think, is probably it, other than mentioning some upcoming things. So, upcoming things today. Today, as far as I know, I could be wrong. I'm not sure if it's today or tomorrow Monday, but either today or tomorrow is the last official day of Sim Caesar's vacation. Uh, so I know for sure he is planning to be back on Tuesday. Um, my best recollection of what he said before he left was that he would he felt pretty sure he would do a bonus stream uh, on Tuesday morning. So that that makes me think he probably won't be doing doing a bonus stream tomorrow on Monday. Um, but, you know, keep an eye out. You never know. Uh, it, it could happen. So keep an eye out for that. Um, on Tuesday, uh, I like, yeah, I, I would be surprised if he did not do a bonus stream uh, Tuesday morning, which would be, it's usually 1 p.m. for me. So that's uh, 12, 11, 10 a.m. Pacific uh, on the Sim Caesar channel. Uh, at noon east, uh, sorry, noon Pacific, three Eastern, nineteen hundred Zulu, I will definitely be doing the fourth out of five Appalachian Trail Tuesdays, uh, and we'll so we'll do that at three p.m. Eastern, nineteen hundred Zulu. Like I said, uh, and uh, so that'll be a lot of fun here on the Peter Mooney channel. Be sure to come in, uh, come along and join us uh, for that. Uh, and then Tuesday night is of course. Um, uh, Detail Tuesday on the Sim Caesar channel. I'm looking forward to uh, to those. It's been, uh, been far too long without Sim Caesar in our midst, and uh, if you are anything like me, I know you will be delighted to have him back on the screen in front of you uh, on Tuesday. So, um, yeah, that's uh, oh, you know, it's weird. So, I, I often, uh, oftentimes, by the time we get to the point of raiding somebody. I've already, like, figured out somebody to raid, and it uh, seems like uh, I have not done that today, but I'm getting a, ooh, so there's that, oh, uh, let's see, is that, oh, uh, yeah, okay, oh, wait, is this, hang on, what's the, oh, no, okay, well, uh, but still probably that, uh-huh, uh-huh, 
Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, oh. Too many choices. Way too many choices. Uh, but I think, um, you know, I, th I, I, I think we, I think we want to do. Um, well, I, I, I'm open to input. I got, I've narrowed it down to two. One is is controlling on that sim. And the other is flying something that's not... Uh, oh, it's um, Cross the Pond Prep in X-Plane, um, the other person. So anybody have any strong feelings about um, uh, any of that? Let's see, wait, what are the, this, this, this is about? Uh, Moet, Senator Garde, Moet. Oh, we went to meet Amaranth. I missed that. That's hilarious. Um... I'm not seeing any uh, uh, strong, um, uh, or actually, any input <laughs> in the in the chat at all. So let's let's go. Um, uh, let's yeah. You know, there are, there are several other people, but they're doing. I'd like to raid, but they're all they're doing non-flight sim stuff. So, but I I have long thought it would be great to raid Jet Pilot Cinnamon, and he uh, he's doing um, that sim. Looks like. Uh, BDR Tower, is that Bradley Tower? I, th I think, maybe? Uh, but at any rate, uh, yeah, so let me get the raid going here, and then we'll put on a little bit of uh, Louis Armstrong, and then we'll take it from there. So, Jeff, I love him. Oh, you know, there was a time in my life when I knew how to um, uh, spell cinnamon. Oh, yeah, it's the first end that's doubled. In, uh, mon. So let's see if that works. Well, before you go, Peter, oh. I just want to say you did a great job. Oh here. my you know, goodness. Good job on doing everything for Sim Caesar, and it was awesome. Um, we had a great you were a perfect substitute. Um, you, to you know, uh, I need, I need to, I'm gonna, I need to cancel the raider. It's gonna uh, run before. Before I move, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna restart I'm gonna restart the raid in a moment. But <laughs> I, I I I had this sinking feeling that I was forgetting something, and sure enough, there it is. I completely forgot that we uh, that I'm still in voice Discord <laughs> with a bunch of other folks. Hello, um, hello, and that's a, you know, so definitely a traditional part of the uh, of the thing is to say thanks to everybody in the voice Discord. And oh yeah, so I guess so. Sim Caesar usually like exits the voice Discord before he does the whole the thank yous and the the the, the giveaway and all that. And so I, I completely forgot. I guess a long time ago. So thanks to everybody who joined in the voice Discord. Wraith Cat, whoever it is that just left, Turdog Monster, Mister Egan, Scotty, Ascended Gravity, and who did I just forget? I just forgot some. Oh, Sun Jam. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Salimi. So thanks to everybody who was. I love you. Huh? All right. Yep, thank you, Turdo. And, uh, yeah, so thanks to everybody who was in the voice Discord, and now let me see if I can uh, uh, get the, get that raid going again, and oh, uh, I got a... Uh, oh. Follow Monster. Oh, yeah, everybody everybody, follow Monster. Definitely, by all means. Has he reached 100? We're only... Uh, Has he reached... I forgot to get a... Uh, Gotti, did you check for the... Uh, more. Ten, so he's up to he's ninety. All right. Well, we got two. Uh, we got two more today. That's that's something. Anyway. <laughs> All righty then. I am gonna go ahead and turn it over to Louis Armstrong to sing us a, uh, out, and then we'll then we'll head over and uh, stick around long enough at least to uh, to uh, flood uh, Jet Pilot Cinnamon's uh, chat with some raid emotes. It's always nice to uh, get a big raid, uh, and I'll see you over there, but but not for long, because then I'm gonna go and get myself. Uh, something to eat and um i'm on crow thank you so much for the follow really appreciate that a great deal and uh hope to see you if not before uh, then maybe on uh, on tuesday would be awesome so thanks for the follow and uh thanks everybody and uh louis where are you here we go take it over louis thank you bye thank you. bye